That's like two deaths in a row though from being constricted by a ball python. It just feels bad. That's when you need the slug slippers, like the one situation where the slug slippers are actually good. Oh, I can't even get to that armor. Oh well, I'm sure I'll find something better. Um... What level was the dungeon my last character even get to? Because they found, found an ogre. Was it dungeon level 3? That would be extremely early for an ogre. It probably was. Huh. I was thinking I got dungeon level 4, which is where you usually start seeing ogres. Oh, was dungeon level 4 they got to? Huh, okay. Right. I feel like I had a particularly huge amount of health, like the ogre could almost one-hit me and stuff. Uh, oh well, let's try and get this character back to dungeon level 4. I guess it would be dungeon level 4 because they had the temple, which um, I think that's about as early as the temple can appear, right? Oh, I can put on the scale bell at least. That's alright for this character. And well, dungeon level 1's done. It didn't quite get me to level 3, but oh, that ball python did at least. So I guess some dags again. Hopefully that's the right thing to get. Is that non-magic? That's a shame. I kind of actually want to see a guy with a dagger of venom because I want a dagger of venom. But I don't know. I could probably find like a kobold or a goblin or something with a dagger of venom, I reckon. Can't see dumb tempo dungeon level 3. Exactly. Yup. No, you're, you're right there. It would have to be dungeon level 4. That magic. Plus two dagger of speed. Hey, I'll take that one. Alright, well that's not too bad. At least it's a little speed dagger, so I should head faster, get more attacks with my horns and stuff. I was attacked to lazy 0.6, so it's not that fast yet. But if I get some short blade skill, I should be able to get this pretty fast. Uh I just wanna keep on fighting this guy, I think. Um, I gotta pull out a Curari. Hopefully I can actually hit. Uh, the problem is it's invisible, so, like, it's really hard to hit. Oh, I think I probably missed it. Now I'm confused. <sighs> I gotta try a potion. Okay, it got me some health back. I don't know if any of those Curaris managed to hit or not, but, oh, uh, well. Uh, I could try the chain mail to got... Let's just go look at it. It should tell me how it changes things. So I get two armor class, I lose two evasion. I mean, it's about the same, but I won't put it on. It's better when I'm constricted at least, because at least I'd have subs of defense as well constricted. And even cockroaches are faster than me. There's a lot of quite fast creatures in these early levels of dungeon. Uh... This is all the little bats, there's the cockroaches, there's the bull pythons, there's the quokkas, they're all like faster than me. Alright. It always feels like you're not killing things that fast when you have a taste weapon, but it's actually not too bad. I'll check out this rapier, but it's not branded, so it probably isn't worthwhile right now. It does 8 damage, 1 attack delay. I'm currently doing uh, 6 damage, 0.5 attack to like, yeah, I think my one's definitely better. Um, and the rapier probably needs like 14 skill as well, I think, to mid delay, so it needs a bit more skill as well. Oh, uh, grab that healing potion, those can be quite helpful. Oh, instantly confused by a jeep. Um... That's pretty bad. Ah, I'm even more confused. Uh oh. I'm not getting out of this. I'm gonna try one of these potions. Whoops, that's not it. Trachin, that's not getting me out of here. And degeneration. Oh, I'm no longer confused, but. Okay, sure, I guess that's fine. And now I've got the one of charming as mine. Why don't you get back to the staircase when I'm attracting things? Alright, no, let's bring the dole up. Um, 
Yeah, one v one again. No, it's not too bad. I've got the Curare if I need it. Although I'm not massively great at hitting with that one, it seems. Whoa, that's way more priests than I ever want to see together. Let me just bring them. Can I bring them back to the staircase. Oh, I might just go up and try and pull one closer that way. There's also like a phantom down that staircase. So Oh, probably don't want to go back down that staircase. Oh, man, this confusion with this guy being invisible is really rough to actually do it, I think. I don't think I've got any curing, though, so I just gotta wander around, uh, confused. Oh, no, it's got a net, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it does have a net. I gotta try and stay back, and there we go, should be able to escape this net. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, I was trying to save back so I had time to like escape the net after it um, inevitably got me with the net. I could converge, but I don't think I'll converge. Uh, okay, got Ash and Zari, not the plan. I go check out the Faded Altar, it's unlikely to be what I'm after. Shining one Phantasm Rue. No, it's not, in fact, an evil god. Oh, that's a fad. I might bring it back to the staircase because this is going to blink me all over the place. This is there. It should be able to blink me. There it goes. They eventually managed to blink me. I guess it was. I don't know. It's probably not doing any damage because I think it has to do any damage before it can blink me. Uh, I'm wearing chainmail, right? Yeah. Just as another set of chainmail there, should I want it? My tag to lay down to it's got to be going down even further, right? It's down to 0 0.4, although that's rounded, but still, it's getting, getting where I wanted to get. Ah, this is putting me in a net. All right, well, I'm ready to go down to level four. Maybe I'll find an early temple again. It looks like there's something. Might just be an early altar of some kind. How it looks like Sif Mata or something. Yeah, it is. I kind of recognize that bolt. It's really kind of nice and pretty with like all the purple around it. Uh, I'm this guy back, but I don't think I can escape these guys because these guys are also faster than me. It's like so many other things on this level. This might be an old. Oh no, it's a jelly guy. What can I do to that? Um, I can charm it. That's not the best. I guess I'll... Oh, there it's dead. <laughs> Don't need to worry about it. See, I'm not even sure if I can charm it because it might not work with it being brainless and everything. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully this is a wand. Do I polymorph? I, mm, I guess that works on jellies, maybe. I hope it would turn them into something worse, though. Oh, it's a plus one short sword of speed. How does that compare with my plus one dagger speed? So it's uh, seven damage. This is seven damage, so it's really not that good. Alright, well, I gotta quickly check for a shield, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any of those. Just the character probably would benefit quite a bit from using a shield. I mean, I guess it would slow my attack delay, but my attack delay is pretty good, so it might have a bit of a penalty, but I am sure it'll be worthwhile. Uh, at least I probably wouldn't have to worry too much about the max blocks per turn with how fast I'm attacking. Let's go down somewhere else. I don't have a cold resist just yet, do I? It's a little bit of a shame. Oh, not in a, in a net again. Uh, I think the Phantom is the same speed as me, so I can take that back to a staircase. Or not. <laughs> ah. I'll eventually get it upstairs, there we go. I 
I'm trying to keep away from the ice beast. I think that's probably a smart plan. Rather than like running face fast until the like, ice beast are getting frozen to death anyway. Hey, is that your dumb doll? Hey, there we go. Let's become an unholy cow. Uh, Canal lights the black torch and reap souls in your dumb doll's name. Canal reek our dead harvest. All right. I'm gonna get a little bit of invocations, just like five, see if that makes any difference, because I think that's, uh, I think my ability scale with that. Hey, look at this, got a little army. Uh, some of them are getting killed off, but that's fine. Oh, hey, Centaur. It's got an ice piece with it? Uh, try to pull it around this corner, but it's not perfect. Uh, okay, I fell asleep for a little while, but I'm still fine. With your torch unlit, this souls goes wasted, wait. Do I get, like, more undead guys if I light my torch or something? Maybe I should light my torch? Yeah, let's give that a try. I don't think it instantly gave me any guys, but it might, uh, it might give me more undead spotting it or something. I'm not entirely sure. I think you need a bit of invocations for that to uh, give you stuff. Wait, does it describe it in this thing? If you carry the black, you carry the black torch. If this indicator is dark, the torch is unlit. If it is bright, you have called upon your del Del to light the torch. So long as the torch burns, you will gain party for kills. With sufficient party, you'll be able to use its umbral fire to empower your undead servants. Oh, so I don't gain piety if I don't have my torch lit, maybe? Huh. That's probably fine, because I'll probably be lighting the torch pretty early on basically every level, because it seems like a good thing to do. Oh, there's a cure I do want. Can I get anything else here? I guess I can get a lignification. Um, can't afford the haste yet. I might grab the heal wounds, though. Don't really need the attraction. Probably not, anyway. I'll probably find enough of those. As a good old damn I don't want to go in there, because then I'll lose my undead army if I go in there. Whoa. Let's not go in all near that guy. Um, I think my undead know to keep away from it, because there's lava between me and it, at least. I don't think it has any reach attacks or anything, either. Ooh. It's kind of nasty with that said to actually have a bit of rage on me. Alright. Wait, your del no refuses to let your quad quest be stopped by a trick of the earth. Oh, it's also some level and fills the dungeon. Wait. Oh, did I get like an immunity to shaft or something? When I'm with your del no? Because that would be kind of nice. It might be a thing. I think that might be new. Um, or maybe I've just never seen that message before, but I actually had the immunity to shaft before or something. That's really nice, though. Oh, hey, Hepsi Aquana. Oh, I need to light a torch, don't I? Next time we see a creature, I might go light a torch on it. Uh... Yeah, that doesn't summon any undead. I thought when you lit the torch, it sometimes summoned an undead, but maybe I need more invocations for that. But at least it does start me gaining piety for killing these things. Oh, hey, Ogre. I got a Curari. This should be violent. So, in fact, I got six Curari for some reason. I didn't even make a zombie. I'm probably gonna have. Oh, I should cure this guy as well. Probably gonna have more. I don't know. Do I need more skill or something? Uh. Oh, Charles really hose your endeldol, so it makes sense that they're immune. Yeah, it really does make sense for them to be immune. Because uh, you don't want to lose your entire army. That's kind of nasty. Well, get some more fighting. Um, I don't know what else I need. Definitely need some more fighting. I probably reached mid delay on this weapon, right? 0 0.3. That sounds like mid delay. 
Okay. Oh, my obvious god. All right. Oh, it's a ring, though. It's an artifact. Resist poison, resist electric willpower. Yes, please. And a little bit of stealth. It does contaminate me take it off, but I don't think that was coming off, so... Oh, how do I kill an electric eel? For now, I'll just leave it. Okay. Light the torch. Hopefully I can raise this uh, ice piece as a zombie. There we go. First zombie of this level. Oh yeah, five evasions, alright. <sighs> Don't really want my zombie to move up, but oh well. It's alright, I guess. Yeah, zombies aren't very smart, which makes sense given that they're zombies. But neither are any of the other creatures in this game. Oh, I should have curated this guy. Uh, oh, hold up. No, it's not poison resist. Oh, I, I must have headbutted it with a horn that done a little bit of damage to it. Because I noticed it took a little bit of damage but didn't get poisoned, so I think I missed with the curare. That makes sense. Let me look at this plate armor. Is that worth wearing? Uh, mm, It's not really that worthwhile. It's about the same as what I've got, I think. Oh, the no-retreat thing already works, kind of like being chopped all the time. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because you can't retreat upstairs and stuff, so it is kind of uh, kind of like being chopped all the time. Can't even cure army this guy, so he's got to kill it. Not quite getting an army here. Oh, there's the second guy. I might get a little bit more tanks. But both decks and strength are things I want um, with this character. Ooh, I just got a warping this night. So I got warping, I uh, got charming, I got polymorph. Well, <laughs> it's really funny when the phantoms attack one of my uh, like summons or zombies or something. Because I'm so used to them, uh, like, teleporting me around. It seems really weird when they teleport one of my creatures. So I should probably re-jab that. Blood. It's a really good set of jewelry this time round. In fact, it's an amazing set of jewelry this time round. Alright, well, let's go down again, I guess. Goodbye, army. Okay. Raise a torch. Let's raise a... Hold on, let me look at the description for this raise a torch. Raise the black torch loft... It calls upon your Del Del to light it aflame. Those who have already earned the gods' favor will be gifted temporary undead servants to help begin their conquest. With stronger servants being provided the to experienced and especially pious. Right, so I need more uh, piety before the start something in guys, I guess. Uh huh. Oh, minus eight corrosion. Ah, I've just got a warping this guy, I guess. That's a shame. These guys like to uh, these guys like to swab you, so I'm gonna bring it into a corridor. It will probably swab me from behind. Yeah, there it goes, but it's not too bad in the corridor. Wait, is that dude gonna stop alchemy? That's really funny seeing a white with a stop. It doesn't feel quite right. <laughs> so I'm used to them having like uh enchanted weapons and stuff. Wait, can I actually leave this level? Is that allowed? What happens if I leave this level while the torch is burning and then come back? Is that fine? I don't even know what happens. Hmm. I'm not that experienced with this Uradel Null as it turns out. <coughs> oh, there's... Oh, a Haunted already? That's really early for a Haunted, isn't it? Dungeon level 8 feels early for a Haunted. Not sure if it is, though. 40% chance, like, don't want to turn into a Malia or a Harpy. I might just have to cure Rari, but it's not a good chance of hitting. No, it's 50%. I got four cure Rari, but it's got a hit. There we go, that should get rid of it, right? And I lost, oh, I lost both the cure Rari's oh, that I threw? That's kind of bad. Oh, it seems a little early, but not ridiculously, so yeah, that's true. It's not ridiculous having a Hornet this early.
What do I even want as a skill? I mean, Shard Blades is fine where it is. Um, I might get like... I might get like 5 armor skill. I gotta try and bring up my invocation and see if that actually helps. Because I thought the number of undead you got was like based on invocations as well. But it seems to be suggesting it's highly based on piety. Oh, that's too many things. Uh, let's bring it back to a corridor though. It looks like it might be losing all my undead, unfortunately. I really can't afford to fight these guys outside of a corridor. That's often what happens with these gods that uh, give you the creatures, they die as soon as um, you have to retreat back to a corridor or something. At least with something like Kepler Aquatic, your ancestor comes back. Um, this is not too bad with your Adel now, but it does lose you your army. If I, oh, I probably haven't identified my stuff yet. I should probably go do that really soon. Let me just go downstairs and read a scroll, see what I get. So I've got six of these ones. Oh, that's a teleport. Um, I'll just go back up. <laughs> oh, it's basically a little tiny blinking more than anything. I've got this one. Just identify good so I can start identifying my stuff. Got a, uh, oh, blinking. Nice, nice. Got fog. A brad weapon. Good noise. I've already got a speed dagger. Do I actually need to brand it up? Uh, got shard weapon. Got silence. I did also have the rapier, though. I could try brand that one. See how good that one is. Let me go look at that rapier. So it does uh, 11 damage, 0.7 attack delay. So it's doing 8 damage, 0.3 attack delay. Hmm. I'll try put a brand on and see what I get. Oh, venom. You know what, sure, I'm going to use this. But I might, if I'm going to use this, I might as well get like 14 short blades. So I hit mid delay on it. I don't really need this ring of intelligence, I think. Also, little potions? Yeah, I mean, I've got a ton of scrolls this time around, though. Like all those blinky and teleports and stuff, but. Uh, let's light the torch. And not so much with the potions. That's a lot of mosquitoes. That's a bit of a problem because they're not uh, susceptible to the venom. And I don't think I can animate them either, which is kind of a shame. Wait, Basilisk? Does that mean there's a lair entrance around here? Oh, I forgot that the Petrified now spreads to there by creatures. So when I'm standing next to my zombie, my zombie also gets Petrified at the same time as me. That's kind of funny. But this must be the lair entrance. Wait, I think it's right here, actually. Oh, kind of work as a cherry point when it got the zombies in there. That would usually work as one. Um, I think I might be back here because it's actually a nice little choke point. And these guys aren't going to turn into zombies when I kill them, unfortunately. Why am I using short planes on a minotaur anyway? I don't know. I just felt like using short planes on one. I mean, I get the extra, like, headbutts when I'm attacking fast, right? I don't know. I just haven't used one before. Uh, I'll scroll vulnerability, sure. So I, th I thought I'd give it a try, see how it is. And so far, it's felt alright. And with Minotaurs, you can kind of use any weapon, right? Ooh, one of these is tough. These ones can corrode me. Uh, hmm. I'm probably going to have to retreat here. I'm already on 8 corrosion. Yeah. That's a shame, but I think I kind of had to do it. I might just run around some circles. There we go, get rid of the corrosion. Okay, four a corrosion. Uh, I should probably go running away again. Try to get rid of this corrosion again. All right. Whoa, sixty-eight corrosion. Okay, definitely time to run again. I could go up that staircase, but I don't know. I don't know what happens to my torch if I go upstairs. It might not be good for it. Or oh, mostly, just seems like a waste of the weapon aptitudes. Because, uh, low skill requirements, right, so that's true, like, you don't really need that much, I think you need 14 skill or whatever it is for a rapier, and that's it. I think even quick blades are only, like, 10 skill or something. Yeah, so it's not... Maybe not the best weapon, but it seems alright.
What were those slime creatures guarding anyway? They must be guarding something. Yeah, usually I give like minotaurs, I don't know, broad axe or something. Or even pole arms. I mean, I've done minotaurs with pretty much every weapon apart from short blades, I feel like, at this point. Oh, all my creatures are dying on me. Uh, plus two boots are pretty good. But I don't even have a single pair of boots, so I'll definitely take some plus two boots. I'll say this character's gonna uh, temple update, so I don't actually know about a whole lot of gods. Yeah, because I didn't want to lose all my creatures by going to the temple, so I just um didn't go into the temple. Let's go downstairs and oh, two headed ogre. I'm gonna raise a torch. Hey, I got undead this time around. I must have sufficient piety or something to get the undead. So I do still have some cure army despite a whole bunch of them breaking before. Um I can't hit with them apparently. Missed three times? Oh come on. I mean, I guess I got the guy surrounded by all my undead, at least. Okay. Here's a bit of invocations. I'll get... A bit of fighting. Then I'll probably get some armor after that. I don't want to attack while I'm confused, because then I might... Tag my own zombies, although I guess my zombies don't mind doing like if I attack them. Like they won't turn hostile or anything, so it probably would have been fine to just attack them anyway. Man, everything here has a pole up, but it's probably still fine. Okay, so got more whoa, even more blinking, five blinking. It feels wrong, like, uh, not going back to the staircase as much as I am. I'm, I'm not sure whether it's, like, makes sense still just to go back to the staircase and lose all your army sometimes. Or, I mean, it probably does sometimes. It definitely doesn't feel quite right playing like this. Alright. This doesn't feel quite natural. It's a vampiric bad legs. I mean, those are alright, but I'm not going to swap, swap away from my short blades for that. Oh, what's that guy got? Is it just a poison dart or is it something else that's highlighted for? No, it's got my bus. Uh, hmm. Probably fine. Do I have anything that can help? I can hurt, hurl some torch light up. What does that do? Hurls a gout of umbral fire from the black torch, which deals irresistible damage to living demonic and holy beings. The torch light will also briefly empower any of your undead servants. Right, I think it like bites them up or something. Um, I think it already has a certain number of charges. Yeah, that two after my torch, I think it's the number of charges it has. Oh, that wasn't actually as bad as I thought. That guy just kind of died. Alright, well, um, I'll do dungeon level 11, I think. And then I'll go do the lair. What did I get? Hey, I got some undead. I got some... Wait, the barracudas are undead? Huh. I thought they were just like regular old fish, but no, apparently they're undead. Oh, there's invisible vampires in there. Um... Hmm. I do have curing potions, right? Oh, uh, I'm confused. I really hope so. Because I gotta get rid of that confusion. Can't cure Ariet. I might be able to, like, I don't know. Hit it with something else. I don't know how much health it has, so it's not good. I gotta run out of curing if I keep on doing this. I might actually, I think I lignify when I find this guy. Hopefully that's not a bad idea. Don't tell me I can't move. I know that's not true. Well, I wasn't actually trying to move. Oh, it's actually fairly healthy. Huh. Oh, this is really sketchy. Hold on, I gotta mind bust this. This is not actually taking it out. Uh, something's mind is bursting. Well, it's pretty obvious it's a vampire that's right there. 
I don't think I can hold torchlight at these guys. It's not gonna do anything because it doesn't affect undead. All right. I can go identify. I finally got some potions now, so I can go identify these two potions. I got some potions of haste. That's not too bad. Oh, it's got a throwing edge, right? I don't think it's got anything else. This guy's got a shield, thankfully. A little buckler. Hey, there we go. It's useless net. Uh, so we're kind of waiting for it to use this net so that I can get in there without ending up in the net myself. All right, well, I do want to put on a buckler. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, I'm still getting the fighting right, but I guess I can just get the shields up to... I don't know. I'll get a reasonable amount, like 8 or something. I've got a plus 2 aptitude. That was shields right good. A little unseen horror. I don't think any of my zombies can see it, unfortunately. But, oh well. Well, something killed it that wasn't me. Or maybe that was me. Oh. That's kind of tough. Can I hold some torchlight in this guy? Did a batch. Alright, well, it wasn't actually as bad as I thought. Uh, won't get one hit with the acid, I don't think, so I should be able to keep on fighting that guy. Just gotta keep an eye on my health, though. Okay. It's nice having the undead behind me if I want to retreat in situations like that, because they'll kind of guard my retreat. Ooh, there's lots of things here, like this... Acid, hold on, I might just poison this guy up. There we go, cure Ariat. Oh, there's something else. Hmm, I maybe should have moved up there. Did get my creatures in position. I was a dragon talisman, sure. It's not seen horror, isn't it? Yeah, in fact, it even turned into a little zombie, which is not invisible. Oh, wait, a natural bogart? What do I even have to contend a bogart? Uh, I mean, I got the whole flame, right? Or that's not going to get to it? Although, we'll get to it. Might have to hold some flame in it. There we go. They got me to it. It's got a function of holy wrath. Oh, your Del Null uh, doesn't like holy wrath, because uh, your Del Null is all about the undead, I guess. I think I should probably curare this guy. Quite a number of guys here that I might want to cure Ari, including that two-headed ogre, I think. Oh, the two little two-headed ogres obviously was actually doing quite a bit of fighting those guys because I, I managed to get behind them, which was really nice. Oh man, another two years ago, at least I still got three Curari darts. Excellent, so I can get... What do I even want? I guess I'll just get a little bit of armor skill up to like, um, eight, see if that makes a difference. I might even be able to put on some heavier armor, because I do have like some plate armor or something I could put on. Nothing special though. I was kind of just waiting till I find my first like, artifact armor or whatever. Oh. It's a Hydra, um... I'm gonna try to hold some torchlight on this Hydra, I think. Okay, it's quite wounded. Hey, there we go. Wait, what's that invisible thing? Um, that's not working, whatever it is, I don't think. Shame, I'm just gonna back up a bit. Okay. Might have been a shapeshifter, it's uh, possible. There's an ogre mage, I might try and curare that one. They can do quite a bit of fire damage, I don't really have a lot of fire in this right now. 
Right, what do I want to get? I mean, I'm not sure if that helped my album cost that much. I can get... Get more of indicators. I might bring that up to like 12 or something. See how much that helps. So I get my Curari bag. Oh, there's a invisible here. Um, a ring of... Wait, a ring of fire. Sea invisible is minus four strength. I might pick that up as like an emergency source of fire resist, but I don't think it's that important. Speaking of an emergency fire resist, I might put that on... Why be instead of the evasion because I can't really swap it as a guess. Yeah, kind of nice timing on that one. All right, let's put the evasion back on. I don't think the other ring's worth it. I could grab the scimitar. It does, um... That's like cross trade with the short blades, right? Yeah, so I got like almost 10 skill and use it. And it could be good for chopping off Hydra heads is what I was thinking. Oh, there's a blinky in here. I definitely want that one. What else do we have? There's a brand weapon if I ever get another weapon that's worth using. There's a charm weapon, alright. There's some cheap potions I should probably grab. I don't know if I care about that ring or not. Hmm. I'll, tr I'll try it. It's only 90 gold. Let's see what it is. Magical power? Nah, it's not that worthwhile. Right, but I think it might be like, um... I don't know, something good like Dex or something. Ooh, there's a press of heat about me. Alright, well, let's raise the torch. So I think those initial guys to try and clear out the entrance and get some real zombies in. Uh, very distant rubble of uh, the Avalanche. Okay, I've got a long way to go if I want to get to this. What's filling up my inventory? It's all these random weapons, like all these daggers, shots on a speed. My drop all the little daggers of speed. They're all right, though. Um, random scale mail, intelligence rig, yeah, there's tons of stuff. Noise. Alright, let's drop all that. Oh, it's very distant still, that, um,. Avalanche for the fire cave. A volcano, whatever it is. Uh... Ah, still very distant. I don't know where this is. I mean, I guess it's just to the right because I kind of explored the left side of the map and it wasn't there. Oh, check out this armor. It might be worthwhile. So. Uh... Plus zero chainmail of fire resist, that actually, um, yeah, it's a good timing on that one, because I'm about to go into a volcano. Oh, but I lose all my creatures, don't I, when I go into the volcano? Oh, well, it's probably fine. It's a bit of a shame, but... Not much I can do about that, I guess. Ooh, rocks in there. Bye. Um... I don't see anywhere here that's obviously a volcano. It's probably not in that corner either. Sometimes the way into the entrance is kind of like a kind of like a maze on its own. Oh, this is it. Okay, go the side of the limbo, which is probably what I want. And then I can go around to the other side here. Um, brisk rumble rocks. Can I drop anything before I go in? I can probably drop. Actually, my inventory is not too bad. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let's just head on in. See what's in here. Can I raise the torch in here? Apparently, I can. All right. I don't know if I can animate the gargoyles, but uh, no, it looks like my initial army's gone now. Wait, this is one of the orbs of fire, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, I might just back up a little bit. Um, Sound about the biscuit. Mystic's not the best. It's got a bolt of magma of force lads. I could put a more fire to this, but I lose some evasion. I'm not sure about this. Um... 
Oh, I could have gone into a proper choke point, but I'm not sure that would have trapped me. Is it already these fire like poison resistance? That was not. Some of them probably are. Whoa. Okay. A whole bit of torchlight. Oh, I don't want to leave my Kurari down to the end, but this fight's not uh, going very well at all. Oh, I think I've got to escape. No, I'm getting absolutely beaten up. Oh, it's a shame. I left my Kuraris behind. I think that was ah, two of them. I'm down to the single Kurari. Oh. Hey, Jeremiah. It was a typical volcano, yeah, just uh, way too tough, unfortunately. And I don't think my torch is raised anymore either, because, um, that's a shame. Because I went into the volcano. Alright, well, let's take a deal with Jeremiah. He's got an orb of mayhem, he's got a robe of willpower, and he's got a trident of draining. Unfortunately, I don't think those are what this character needs, um... Oh ah, well. What other abilities do I have? I'm gonna bind souls. If I see someone tough, I can then go bind their soul and then kill them. But I should get a semi permanent minion on my side. Alright, I need some more creatures. Well, I still got the temporary summons here, so I can actually make a proper army. Alright, I got some yaks now. Uh. Hmm. I wonder, I prefer to kill this boulder beetle over again, just with the venom for my weapon instead of trying to get it with a Kurari. Because I'm getting kind of low on those. Also, do I get four Hell Torch Light? How does it determine how many it gives me? Might be based on my piety or something. I got four pips of piety, maybe it's just equal to my number of pips of piety or something. Anyway, what do I want? Uh, I'm fighting to like, uh, I don't know, is 20 too much? I might just get 18. Get armor to like 14. Shields is fine where it is. I might bring the invocation up to like 14 as well. Uh, my boots, right. I got the plus two boots, but I can read the identify on two or whatever these are. Two mutation potions. Well, it's good not to just, like, randomly drink those ones to get a random mutations or whatever. Oh, fire this rope? Don't care about that. That's... I mean, I know this character... This character kind of could go with light armor, but I don't know. If it's good enough, I'll go with light armor. But at the moment, I'm kind of trading up the armor skill, right? And go with more heavy armor side of things. Uh... Alright, well, I guess I'm headed downstairs. Here, there's another Minotaur on this level. Oh, I might just bring, might bring the Hydra upstairs. Get out the flaming weapon. There we go. I'm purposely not raising my torch because I want to do that after I've bought the Minotaur. Um, I got the poison dart to think. I don't know if that played out. Is that worthwhile? Probably not. You can also leave the brand weapon outside. Um, yeah, because I actually need to find like a quick blade or something. If I want to brand it up. Oh, what have we got here? We've got a coiled amulet. This is an artifact. Not artifact rig on this side. Also intelligence, which I don't really care about. Oh, there's gloves as well. And another artifact. I mean, I've got a regen amulet, which is kind of nice. What else have we got? Another... Artifact amulet if I want to find a statue, but wait, that's, uh, obsidian is some demons, right? Yeah, those are some dash shadow creatures, those demons, which is something at least. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to find those, uh, Moth of Wrath and Spiders, that's gonna to be too lethal. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of these large abominations in here, hmm. Ghost Crab, sure. I can't wear the helmet, and that's a non artifact tablet. So I think the most tempting one was. Wait, that's how spiders in as well, isn't it? It's the smallest spiders. I might I think this one's the most tempting one. Um, hopefully.
Whoa. Um. Wait, is this alright? I think this is alright. I, I need to raise the torch at some stage, but I think it's alright. Okay, well, we got the plus one gloves, which is pretty good. The Ablon's uh, regen three willpower does randomly corrode you, though. I reckon... I mean, random corrode is not that great when I'm using a short blade. But I reckon the willpower is worthwhile. I'm going to put it on. Um, yeah, willpower is fixed. Not going to have to worry about that one again. Okay, well, I'm probably going to have to raise the torch in here, right? I reckon so. The only reason for me to stick around with all this bizarre guys, I don't think it's a good idea. Unfortunately, that means I can't raise the torch on this Minotaur guy. Oh, it's got an ambulance of the four winds with clarity and willpower. It's also got a staff of conjuration eyes and some silver javelins. Um... Yeah, hold some torch light in it. Okay. It caused a little bit of piety, I think, but it did get rid of it. So I'll take his javelins. I'll probably want to get uh, skilled at those at some stage. There's uh, gloves of cold resist. I mean, what are my gloves? Plus one or something? That seems worthwhile. I guess two strands as well, which is alright. Yeah, I mean, I'll totally take some gloves of cold resist. <laughs> zombie Minotaur versus Zombie Minotaur. Well, I'm glad I... Oh, another Zombie Minotaur. Glad I got a Zombie Minotaur on my side. Alright, well, I don't think I need anything else in here. There's Leather Robber, Positive Energy. I think I can just get out. And now, like, uh, well, as soon as I see a creature, I can go raise the torchlight in here as well. Got three of invisibility. All right. And I've got uh, just one of everything. I might as well just scroll, see what I've got. Char Dharma. Wait, what's on the ground? Wait, there's another identifier here. There's a whole stack of them. All right. Well, I can do another scroll, I guess. I've got poison. And I've got um, fear. Oh, yeah. I think you're meant to be able to gain the whole torchlight for doing something like killing uh, uniques or something. I seem to remember there was something that could gain it. And it used to be like slightly bugged, but apparently it got fixed. Um, <laughs> apparently if you killed like a, I think it was a unique with the whole torchlight itself, it didn't actually gain you a charge or something weird. I got the snake, which is not too bad. I don't have the poison resist yet. Oh, do I? I do. Because I got the, got the ring. I got the amazing ring with all the resist on it. All right, then. Well... Yeah, I mean, my resistance is kind of there with this character. I don't need to worry about those at all. Oh, what just happened to my guy? Arrow hit my zombie. Hey, Ruga! How's it going? Uh... Do the core of this, they should be fine here. Come to find my unholy cow or Minotaur if you're a Delve Doll. Depending what you want to call this character, they're actually doing alright this one. Go to Lair. I've got, a, got an army that I'm raising. Seems to be working alright. Oh. It's Fire Dragon. I've got one Fire Resist. Hold on. If I lost the move so I can get a second Fire Resist, it's probably worthwhile. I think I should do it. Oh, they have more fiery guys? Ah, oh, got a health and torch light up these. These are not gonna go well if I just stick around. I get to buff up my own guys as well. Body house is alright. There we go. Now I can go and grab all those teleports and stuff, but that's kind of a scary little ambush. I mean, he gives you like a potion of enlightenment in case you need to fly to get back out or something. That's kind of cool. Because there are a few areas in this game that you can kind of get trapped if you're not careful. Especially with the like, ability to let you like teleport to an enemy or something. Oh, is this the new, uh, your Delm Delm truck? Yep, this is uh, the truck, your Delm Doll. They're actually kind of nice, I think, compared with the old your Delm Doll. Because you get to do the. Or is it the light the torch on the level and get a small army to start with? That seems pretty good. And the whole torch light has been fairly helpful to take out uniques and stuff. Alright, well, let's light the torch. Got some death yanks here, unfortunately. 
Oh, that might be too many guys. Um, I prefer not to have to retreat up because then I lose my torch light. But I might just hold some torch, uh, hold a torch at these guys. Yeah, it took me, unfortunately, rather a lot of my whole torches, but I think I've got my initial entrance onto this level cleared out at least. Potion won't save you if you're a mummy. That's true. If you're a mummy of, say, like, Ushke or you did your grand finale to get onto the island, then you're kind of just stuck in there, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess you could read a teleport scroll or something, but still. Oh, there probably was a teleport scroll on the island as well for mummies. Yeah, in fact, I think there was. Ooh. I have blood. My army doesn't have blood, but I do. I gotta hide behind my army. He said, I don't think zombies have uh, tasty blood. Kind of doubt it. And this, this army is mainly like death yanks, which means it's really strong. Like, sure, it took me a few initial whole torchlights to get the army going, but it's a good army. Is that an anything good of Vampiric Scimitar? No, I don't care about that one. I wonder if there's any characters that could get, like, absolutely stuck on that island and not be able to get off. Um, probably not, right? I mean, obviously, if you use the potions and stuff it gave you badly, you can get stuck on the island, I guess. Oh, hey there, it's our Hydra. I can kill those with the Flaming Scimitar, though. Oh, but that means when I get a zombie out of it, I just get, like, a two-handed zombie or something. Oh, well. Um, I don't even think I had a flaming one, do I? That's a bit of a shame. Be nice for those electric eels, but oh well. I do have the resist electric at least, so they shouldn't be able to do too much. Oh, you still need to come up with a good Eurodel Null, Eurodel Null bonus for one of the tournament challenges? Any suggestions? What is like a, I don't know. Can't think of any special like Eurodel Null themed challenges off the top of my head. Um, I mean, there's always can be ones about, like, binding a specific soul, but that's hard, because a lot of uniques and stuff are, like, guaranteed, um, oh, your Eurodel Null attempts to get to dying early, yeah, the Eurodel Null doesn't seem to give you a lot early on, because I tried to raise Torchlight early on, and it didn't seem to give me any undead. I only seem to do that later on for whatever reason. It seems to require you have piety and stuff. I got Curse Vacuum and Sublimation of Blood. Alright. Um. That's not the best. Wait, is my. I haven't, I haven't raised my torch yet? That's not right. I should raise my torch. What am I doing? You're not raising my torch. I was kind of just waiting till there was like some creatures around and then as soon as there were creatures around, I totally forgot. Oh, they bashed up the plot. I'm just trying to get rid of my corrosion. Alright, well this does seem fine. Get out the flaming weapon and go kill it. Oh, Hydra? Maybe not. I badly wounded. Hold on, I gotta get some health back. Yeah, I gotta drink one of these healing potions, otherwise that flame is gonna take me out. Am I still wearing the... Not wearing the extra fire resist right now. Um... Can I hold a torch at this guy? Not really. I think it's probably worth it to hold some torch light at this guy. Does that not do much? Wait, is there resistance to the... Oh... It might be really resistant to the damage, that's a bit of a problem. I mean, I could do a healing potion, I could, I guess I could dump a condenser vein on this guy, it didn't even hurt. I might have killed my own guy, oh, that's, hmm. Can I at least mind burst it? Probably not, right? Now it's like 30%, if I got a vulnerability on it first, I guess I could probably 
Get it with a mind burst. Oh, my zombies are doing something to it. There we go. That's working, I guess. All right, looks like I'm back. Should be exactly where it left off because it wasn't the server that crashed. It was um a lot of fiery guys here. It was me that lost connection to my internet for a tiny little while, unfortunately. All right, is the stream recovered? Is that going again? Yeah, I think it's recovered. It's giving me back the uh, Twitch chat at least so they can see. Oh. Uh, is that all these molded gargoyles? I don't like these guys. These seem kind of tough. It's not quite working. I'm just kind of getting my uh, guys killed if I step back there. What do I have that's actually good against this molded gargoyle? I don't seem to have a lot because I can't even curare it, right? And it's a doubt it. It's a gargoyle. It should be resistant to poison. Immune to poison. Yeah. Um. I've got the Fathomless Shackles, which cost a lot of piety if I need to. Alright, but I think I might actually be fine without having to use that one, thankfully. Oh, we're back. Hey, excellent. No, that was kind of bad, just dropping offline for a second there. Hopefully it's not a reoccurring theme today, but I think it was just a one-off thing. My internet decided to disconnect for half a second. Alright, put on the flaming weapon. Oh, I might not have got the um, Hydra from that because... Oh, wait, it did. I was just going to say because I had round heads, but it didn't actually round heads. I still had like a couple of heads left. So I think there's some javelins on the ground they could probably go grab. Uh, I want to make Ariel I don't need. I don't really need the plate armor. I don't think I need the tropper darts. Yeah, I'll do. Let's just go out the javelins. That's how I should get throwing maybe as my next thing or something. Next skill. Who knows? I gotta get it sometime reasonably soon though. There's gotta be a fire dragon in the center of all this, isn't there? Or it could be a hellhog, but it's probably a fire dragon. Um. Oh, that's two hellhogs. I don't think I fight two hellhogs. I think that's kind of a bad idea. I might have to come back for those guys at some stage. Unfortunately, oh, I do have my army right now. Maybe I could fight two hellhogs. I gotta put on the fire resist. Definitely. Got some hell torchlights. If we're gonna do it, it makes sense to fight these guys now. Because there's no reason to keep this torchlight around. So I might as well hold it at them. There we go. That did the trick. Yeah, no, it definitely made sense to do that right now instead of coming back when I didn't have an army or anything. Alright, well, I'm done with the lair. Let's go to... Actually, I should, um, I should get off this lava and swap my rings back, I think. Oh, what's that? A move? Uh, evasion? See, invisible evasion, I think, is what I was wearing. And I should go to dungeon level 12 and then go to the lair, I do believe, at this stage. Wait, why did I stop? Probably because I lost my army or something. Alright, it's probably time to... There we go. Raise the torch, get in a few little undead dudes. None of these are really permanent. No, I think one of these is permanent. Hmm. Too many undead like these vampire mosquitoes. I prefer the living so I can reap them and add them to my army. But they're probably not... Uh, I guess undead... Oh, that's a... Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's way too many guys. Um... I gotta hold some torchlight in the midst of these guys, but that's not quite right. Whoa, no. Not that close. Um, hold up. Nope, that doesn't even do much. I, oh. Why is it faster than me? I shouldn't be slow. Yeah, at least it's split up.
That's not quite right. Um, why is Baldy Beetle Zombie Sprite an ad? I don't know why it's an ad, but yeah, it does have like old worker ad zombie for some whatever reason. I gotta roll the torchlight. Um, uh oh. I'm maybe gonna have to teleport out of this. We'll see. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably am. Oh, uh, yeah, I, should, I definitely should. Um, so much I can do about the Titanic. Oh, no, it hit me. Oh, no. Mm. I might be able to dump a fear on it, actually. I'll probably teleport very soon, but... Oh, there we go. Teleport did go off. I don't know. I think I fried it before I, I uh, teleported out because it could have still been a few times before I teleported there. Man, this level's been a uh, real, uh, real different from the rest. Oh, and so do you exist anymore? Yeah, though, I guess the workarounds has gone, uh, they, they didn't stick around for, for particularly long, right? Like, they were there for a few versions and they were gone. Oh, this is not right. I just my bust this dude, because I don't want to keep it running up. Ow. I'm so barbed right now, it's not right. I had to teleport out again, because these guys are going to all merge up. I was too bobbed up to. I don't want to think about it. Um. Ah, I got to teleport again. It's uh, just still too many guys around. Okay, because I can't deal with that uh, death light right now. Uh oh, it's probably still knows where I am. Maybe I might be able to run down this way though. But it's very really cool by our dead guys. Um, to me. Okay, this is already dungeon level 12, but it's got enough creatures on it to cause me problems. Yeah, this is sort of the first level that's causing me any, well, really serious problems. I should poison this guy up. There we go, because I know it's uh, susceptible to poison. I just wasn't hitting it. Alright, level 15. I'm gonna get... I think I might get some strength on this level. But I'm gonna be getting a mixture of strength and dex to kind of make me good with heavy armor. But the, the strength really doesn't do a lot more damage with my current weapon. Oh, what are these? Brooms of Brilliance? I don't think I've got any spells right now. Wait, there's plus four scale mail? What sort of... Um, I've got five of this armor on right now, but there's plus four scale mail poison resist. Plus four chain mail of uh, coal resist. Hold on. Some of those are probably worth using. A coal resist is not quite what I want, but the armor is pretty decent. Oh, wait, I lost... Oh, I shouldn't have gone there yet. I should have um, finished off the level then gone there. That's a problem with your Del Null. You do lose all your zombies. Yeah, that was a bad idea going right now. But do I have a... I don't have another fire this. I mean, I do have the reg, but that's about it. Whoops, I don't have my torch raised anymore. That was silly of me. Oh, wait. My best is not going to work with this dude. I just softened up with a little bit of acid. Um... Right, well, got the call over this. There's a frost giant downstairs. I might pull that one upstairs. Try get him with a cure already? Nah, I missed. There's a reasonably tough guy to just have lying around dungeon level 12, though. I might actually get him with some acid. That's better. Oh, this guy can do, like, uh, I guess it all did do at least rather deconstruct. I still don't would have, like, trouble throwing it in there without hitting itself, but apparently I managed to figure it out. Um, that's a full-on Adam. So what's binding the soul of this Adam? I think I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know if it's the toughest thing I could ever buy, but now I've got an Adam on my side. So I guess it's something. If I see like a proper unique though, I should go bind it. But anyway, let's go to the Yokuch Mines. Oh, 
Oh, the level's gonna be split up, so it's gonna be really awkward for raising the torch, right? Maybe. Although, maybe it's not split. I'm not really sure. I might just raise the torch anyway. Actually, it looks like it might not be a split up level. It looks like it might be. Um, oh, crystal plate armor. Most most level. Wait, crystal plate armor? Yeah, I mean, it's probably worth a Johnny up some crystal plate armor if I can. Oh, one well, split. I've just got the one staircase down. Oh, well. Oh, hey, Nezos. Do I have a polymorph for Nezos? I do, but I don't think I can target them right now. Alright, because uh, if I polymorph them, they won't be able to shoot me anymore. They should drop their bow, and I don't believe they have a lot of willpower. I was like, 50% of the polymorph? That's not that good. It's usually a bit better than that. Oh, Rad Roach, that's not quite what I wanted to say. Um... The enslaved soul hasn't changed. It's a bit different now. You don't need zombies to do it anymore. You need uh, piety. But yeah, it's, uh, it does still enslave someone in much the same way. So it's uh, definitely not too bad. Wait, does the enemy actually hit that hard? It does. It keeps its fire flails. Nice. I was hoping it actually kept its weapons. Uh oh, how's my whoop? No, whoop is good. Roger should be fine. Is it worth, like, uh... Is it worth binding her? She's got 40-something health. I don't know if it is. I don't think she's that healthy. She'd probably just die as a bounce. Oh, yeah, she's dead already. Oh, this is an archery ending, isn't it? Uh... I'm gonna lose my bounce soul, I think. Maybe. It's still currently alive, but it's not a, a huge amount of health or anything. Alright, what do I need? Some fighting's doing well. What else am I getting? I'm just doing well. I mean, I might actually get more shields and just hope I find a shield somewhere around here. And I might just check that there isn't one already. There's not mayhem. There's not a lot of luck with shields this game. I mean, I actually got a buckler fairly early, which wasn't too bad. Uh, yep, there's an archer, of course. That not look too bad. Now these are like super big archers. I mean, I guess the uh, kobolds are probably some of the more deadly archers around here. Oh, I just want to, I want to get my health back, but I guess I can go fight these guys for a little bit longer. I like how I've got the regen though. That's actually pretty helpful when I'm not be able to retreat back upstairs quite as often. Ooh, who is a dang distortion? I could probably just leave that one for my creatures, right? There we go. Yeah, so that I don't have to worry about getting hit. So I've got some boots here. I've got some plus two boots already, I'm pretty sure. And an artifact talisman of willpower, which I'm not at all short of willpower, so I don't really need that one. I don't think my army can use the, all the ranged weapons that the enemies have, unfortunately. So I've got a resistance potion, a mutation potion, a lignification potion, a heal wounds potion. I don't care about all those endless brilliance potions. we got a... Uh, oh, I don't care about the rapier of holy wrath. That's a shame. Does have a little bit of dex and see if it's water, but it doesn't quite work. What else do we have here? Spellbooks? I don't think I care about those. And more spellbooks. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, I, I could eventually get some late game spellcasting, but I am a Minotaur. I'm not exactly known for my amazing spellcasting aptitudes or anything. Uh, I guess I just gave a saving for that crystal plate armor because that's uh, the only useful thing that I can think of so far. 
I mean, a few useful potions, but I think that's worth probably saving for. It was pretty expensive, though. I don't think it was even... Was it even enchanted? No, nah, it doesn't look like it. Ah, oh, well. Still worth getting. Okay, it's all the staircase. It's good. So I can go to a dungeon level 13. Oh. Okay, I can be teleport trapped, which is okay, I guess. Oh, my little bind saw was making his way over. That's kind of funny how that guy is still... I mean, this is still technically on the level after I got teleported. Alright, where's my old cloak? There it is. Uh, should be some sort of shop. Not another bug shop. It's bug movement, party tricks. Not really needed. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm just auto exploring properly. I'm just worried that I lost connection again. But no, I'm going fine. Oh, two requirements. I don't know. Two requirements to enter a trove is like. It's kind of questionable whether it's worth it or not. Um, it kind of feels like a bit of a side grade. I mean, I guess I could do it if I had two requirements. I already got here. We can identify uh, two scrolls of revelation. That's not bad. My vault entrance in here. I might just I pull my guys back. Yeah, you really don't want to like charge straight into here because when these doors open, usually a whole bunch of creatures just spews out. It's not being too bad this time round. Oh, there's a decent sized group of creatures. Alright, I can identify. I'll do my last scroll, see what that is. Uh, good old amnesia. Oh, there's a poison resist ring. There's a granite talisman. There's a amulet of magic regen. Um, I don't think I'll do a grand talisman this time round, but I might be able to do a poison resist ring. Oh wait, no, 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 I don't need that one. Never mind, because I've got the poison resist or one of my rings already. All right, well let's just go down, I guess. Uh, well, there's not much choice. Just the any random potion, I guess, will do. Bring out the flaming sword. There we go. I should have raised my torch. Yeah, let's go raise the torch. But it's a good time as well because I got all the tough creatures around me. So I do get quite a bit of use out of the creatures. I didn't bring in that much stuff. It's reflecting injuries back at me. Um, you can see it like all my guys are taking damage as they attack the enemy there. It's not perfect. Oh, hey, Kirk. It's Kirk worth binding. She can, uh, she's got a decent amount of health. She can slow people. She can monster some dodgery. She might be worthwhile. Let's give it a try. Do I lose my current bind soul immediately? No, I have to, I have to bind her first, I think, before I lose my current bind soul. There we go. So I go Kirk now. 127 health. Uh, he's got the monstrous menagerie, the slow, and the pork later. Hopefully it's alright. Wait, what happened to my guy? I got petrified, petrified by a basilisk, I guess? Apparently, if you, like, uh, soul by the Linnaean Hydra, it's really funny with how much damage it does. I mean, it's probably not the most robust thing, but hey. I'm, I'm not sure if I managed that before. I might have. It does sound definitely fun having a soul-bound Linnaean Hydra on your side. Oh, hey, the guy got turned to peg. That's funny. I love how Kirk gets, uh, like, her own unique abilities to turn people with pegs, because... I don't think there's anyone else in the game that gets that ability. Wait, is that a pig? A hog zombie? Oh, wow, well, okay. So when they get turned to zombies, that oh no, hogs, it doesn't go away when they... 
uh, like die because I was totally expecting that to go away when they died. All right, well, I want to get I want to get fighting up to like oh twenty four 24 or something. That'd be ridiculous. I might get short blades up just a little bit. I don't know, 16 or something. It doesn't need that much. And I'll make it go up to like 20. Okay, maybe maybe not that much fighting. I might just get oh, that's all right. I might just get like 20 fighting actually for now. I think I'm able to get an armor skill because I very soon I should be able to get some crystal plate up. But well, maybe not. I still need like a thousand gold or something. It's actually fairly expensive. Little hog. Oh, this is, this is really fun. Oh, uh, really read the emulation? No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go identify this potion here. Berserk Rage, which I can drop on the floor. Actually, can I? Did I drop that on the floor? Hold on. I'm not a mage today. I can actually carry that around. I'm not sure if I'll end up using it or not, but I can definitely carry it around. Uh, okay. Light the torch. Hopefully the slimes don't get too big. They are getting kind of big. How do the slime zombies work? They're gonna... Slime creature zombie. A slime creature zombie? Wait, it's got 90 something health? Hold up, it might be based on the size of... No, they might just... They're both 90 something health. I don't know. Might be based on the size they were when they got converted across. Oh, if you're using swords when you train dodging, I totally could, uh, Beholder, I totally could. But I've decided to go with the armor route instead. But yeah, I mean, the short blades don't benefit that much from decks, so I just kind of decided to be somewhere between strats and decks of this character, but yeah, I totally could, uh, do a dodging character. I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. Did I raise my torch? I did. These guys are kind of nasty, because they're undead. And it got me slowed, of course it did. Is this guy technically undead? It's human end, but it's undead? It's natural, no it's not. Can I just charm it? Ah, 7%, no I can't. Hmm. I zap it with a bit of acid. Oh, wait, my willpower's stripped right now. That's really bad, because that... Wait, no, the agony's still 14% with stripped willpower? Apparently my willpower is just really impressive today. I might actually get these guys... Oh, did I not get them with the clouds? The, yeah, the condensed vein really does need to need some skill. Do I actually teleport here, though? Or is this fine? I think it's fine, but I might just hold a bit of torchlight at this guy. There we go. Um, I want to be back. Yeah, just somewhere around here. Somewhere that's like more of a choke point, I think. It's not quite working perfectly because my zombies are just kind of dying. So I don't fire resistance. If I can polymorph this guy and change his color, that's probably going to be an improvement. Alright. So I got four shards of armor. Once I get the crystal plate armor, I'll charge it up. Oh, hopefully it's actually worthwhile at the moment. Oh, still so expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive. Is it an antique shop or something? Because the antique shops always have an increase in their price of their items. But that, yeah, that would take out for about the right price for an antique shop. Because a crystal blade armor could easily cost like 2,000 gold or something. They added the premium for an antique shop at 2,600. Easy enough. I think I just keep on moving forwards here instead of retreating back. Because otherwise they're just going to get lead rapid deconstruct all the way back. There's more tiny shields. Where are the proper size shields, game? I don't want bucklers. I want actual kite shields or tower shields or anything slightly bigger. Um. Okay, I can probably drop that out of the four wins, I think. Okay, I've got another ring of fire, which is fine. I need the reflection. Um, ah, nothing to identify. Where do I want to go? It's like you go to shoals of the snake pits. I guess I go to the snake pits, but I'm gonna have to swap in fire this when I need it. I think.
These guys, I mean, I could bring in my, uh, my dead already, but these aren't really... Oh, there we go. There's a... That guy's got a proper shield. I'll light my torch here. That's excellent. And that gives me some skill to work towards as well. Kind shield of fire resist, excellent, because I even needed the fire resist. That's a massive upgrade. Just drop the old shield. Um, Yeah, we're still like 0.5 tag delay, so it doesn't really hurt that much at all. Oh, yeah, I got 14 shield value, no wonder. I mean, it's not enough for like a tower shield, really, but it's definitely enough to use a kite shield without too much penalties. Also, a cold resist octopode ring. It's a fire resist evasion resist corrosion ring. Hold on, that could be good. I don't need the poison resist cold resist one. That's probably not that good. Oh, it does have three slag, which could be alright. Yeah, so I've got the evasion one. That's a straight upgrade if I get the resist corrosion resist fire. Which are not, so, not bad getting those resists. Cold this, I think, was fine, so I probably don't really need that. Slag was fine, but yeah, I think I just grabbed this one. Put it on. So the evasion. Oh, I probably should have looked at the shop first in case I had something good. Nah, it's just junk. No manuals or anything, so I don't care about that shop either. Oh, there's even more shops. Maybe we'll have a quick blade for me. It's got a short blade of venom, execution axe, war axe of electrocution, and some junk, like quarter stars and stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'll worry about the shop. Oh, that means I'm even further away from being able to buy the crystal plate on because they just spent a bunch of money, but it was worth it. That ring and so was a very worthwhile one. And my current armor is like plus four and, uh, chain mail or something. Not chain mail, uh, yeah, chain mail, right? So go to a plus zero, um,. Crystal plate armor, it's not a huge upgrade because I'd want to try and get some enchant armor on the crystal plate armor and stuff. Still nothing to identify. What am I even missing? I don't think I'm missing too much. Quiet butterfly summoning torment. Ambrosia experience magic. Yeah, not missing too much. Oh, it's a bunch of spells like orb destruction. I think it was the book of spheres, like fireball orb destruction, all that sort of stuff. Probably Battle Sphere, I don't know, all the sort of spherical spells. I actually have a bit of fire resist now, right? I've got like two fire resist all of a sudden, so I don't need to be too afraid of the sound magic tyrants. Because I went in here with like zero fire resist, and I was kind of um, a bit worried about the sound magic tyrants. This is fine, I do believe. Don't even need to hold any torchlight or anything. Does it cost magic points? It does cost magic points to do my abilities. So after I modify for straight away magic points, I can't exactly do a whole lot. Do you have much magic points does it cost? Four magic points to hold torchlight, six to bind the soul, eight to do the fathomless shackles. Fathomless shackles is an amazing escape option if it's anything like what I've uh like it used to be when I first used it. Because it uh I think it drains health on all the creatures around you. Maybe it's just the living ones? I can actually look at its description. It gulfs the user's surroundings and your delve null's inexorable grip. So long as you remain within the profane sanctuary, all hostile creatures that share it with you will be bound in place, and their life force will be continuously drained to restore your own. Victims who are isolated from their allies will take damage at a greatly increased rate. Yeah, so it does also like life draining on everything in the fairly decent size or around you. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I think this is fine. Although those guys are biting each other up, which is the ideal. Oh, now that I got the resist corrosion with my random corrosion triggers, and some um, only minus two corrosion instead of minus four corrosion. That's really nice. I was kind of worried on the race torch aren't too bad. I wonder if that's for getting more invocation or more piety. Because I maxed out my piety now. I guess that's never, never going to give me better creatures of its base purely on piety. But it's probably some complicated formula that involves both. Um, piety and um, invocations, I'd imagine. It's reverse sanctuary. 
Yeah, the little thing's not being able to get in there. They're kind of stuck in there taking damage. This is not perfect. Can I hold a torchlight at myself? That should make this trivial. Because apparently I don't take any damage from the whole torchlight and I would hit everyone if I hold it at myself in a situation like that. But yeah, it does a good job of keeping you alive. Oh, hey, Agnes. Um, I can't get my zombies around her, but I think this is fine. What do I do here? Oh, I gave my torchlight back because I killed Agnes. I might toss some more torchlight at these guys. And that means I also buff up on my undead, which is kind of nice. Well, he's still the ones I hit. Hmm. Not working as well as I like. I'll just pull these guys back just a little bit. Did I lose my bind soul? I probably did. I gotta go bind some other creature. But I got plenty of piety, so I don't know what I want to bind. Yeah, I definitely lost my bind soul. Oh, this boots, I got plus two boots. Um, unlikely to need those, but I'll dump my shopping list. If I have extra money left over, which I probably will at some stage. Oh, do I want the fire? Hold on, I think I actually do want that flaming nib uh, on second thoughts. Because I still got the shoals and stuff to go through, and it can be really good for making steam. So I can get rid of the evasion. I would get rid of the basic fire, because I got tons of fire to this now. Uh, I'll, I'll do. Alright, next level. I feel like most of the time I have an undead army with me, which is great, because I know with the old Eurodel null, I often felt like I didn't have any undead and my god wasn't doing anything for me. And even this god, like the... Oh, I'm marked. That's not ideal. And even this god actually does stuff when you have no undead as well. Like, you can totally trigger your abilities. Okay, I want to find soul with this guy. I think... I think now's a good time to do the Fathomless Shackles. Well, I'm marked. Good. I got my bind soul going now. Oh, the, the fathomless shackles shrinks to the same way as like the everything else shrinks. Okay. Oh, I can draw some amnesia for free? I should probably do that, actually. That's my whole torch light. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Nope, that's not good. I've been a cure up some of this poison, okay. Uh, if I get it here... Man, I gotta hold, hold some more torchlight, I think. How many more guys are gonna come along? Oh man, even more stuff, okay. Uh, could do another Fathomless Shackles, my party's doing okay. Yeah, it does heal me up again. Okay. Ah, goodbye him. Uh, Fall of Bliss Jackals, I guess. Oh. Right, this is Snake Fist level 4 and I got marked. No wonder there's so many guys. This is a uh, kind of sketchy stick on the level. Um, I want to go upstairs, but I might at least be able to... Oh, that did a lot of damage to me. Hold up, I should actually do a healing potion. That did not work as well as I like. Um, do I have any undead to recall? Do I? No, they're all dead. I'm like dead, dead. Okay. Oh man, I gotta drink another healing potion actually because that was kind of bad. Oh, I'm out of magic points. Huh. I don't think I have a huge amount of choice. I think I'm just going to go upstairs, actually. That's a shame. I was like, I'm doing all that stuff to try and stop myself having to go upstairs. But no, in the end, I did not manage to 
stick it out. Uh oh, this guy's absolutely slaughtering me. Um, oh, if I get away from me with a bit of warping, that doesn't work. I'll try it again. I think I've still got enough health. Oh. Nope, I need a healing potion. Why is my warping not working? Is it like 30% chance of the warping or something? Yeah, it is. Ow. I cure up the poison, but this is not great because it just moves straight back up to me. Go try it again with the warping, but this is not doing that much to it. Okay, that did a bit. I might be to kill it with the warping as well. Hmm. Um. I just want these guys to move up to me, but now that I've lost my army, it's a lot harder. Yeah, I need to kill things slowly and normally. Uh, I guess I go down somewhere else. No, that's not pulling things up either. Man, there's so many of the, so many of the tougher Nagas approaching there. Alright, well, let's go down here, I guess. Hopefully I can get a little bit of Nami, even if I can't, um, can't get Piety because I don't have the torchlight going anymore. I should still be able to get a little bit of an army going. I don't like how this guy's might. Can I get rid of that might? I don't think I'm going to Quicksilver or anything, so it doesn't look like it. I should be able to pull this guy around the corner. Yeah, I just didn't want to keep on running up there and getting myself into more and more and more trouble or something. Alright. I should drop that amnesia, actually. Oh, uh, where is it? There it is. Now that I'm kind of out of the... out of a fight now. Wait, where was the staircase? Ah, oh, there it is. Guys, okay, kind of mighted up, which is not ideal. Yeah, it's killing my zombies, isn't it? Oh, I might just go up. Unfortunately, that means I lose my zombies, so. Alright. Please drop a zombie when you die. Uh, I did drop a zombie when it died, but I'm going to take it upstairs, unfortunately. Okay. What I want to do is I want to go up another staircase. I just want to wait off this guy's mind, I think, and then come back down and find it. That's probably the idea. Pay that gets me back my health as well. Well, is that constriction like more? Is that constriction better at reducing evasion than it used to be? I lost a ton of evasion. Oh, that's not gonna work that staircase. I'm gonna go constrict. Like, it went from 30 to like 3 or something. Uh. Man, I'm just not gonna get a chance to heal up here. I was totally gonna build up a, a couple of zombies or something on this level again. Okay. Probably worth just spending the party and doing a fathomless shackles, I reckon. Oh, it's gonna be a real pain to get through those guys. I can get a few zombies out of that at least. But I am going through my party on this level, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess that can be expected for the end of a lab branch. Okay, well, there should be a ruin around one of these corners. I don't know how many creatures we left guarding it, though, because I have kind of fought a decent number of the creatures on this level that got pulled out with that mark earlier. Yeah, mark is definitely a pretty big threat for any sort of Eurodel no character. There we go, that's my rune. Because you can't really, like, always just retreat up this level if you've already done your torch, which I had. Um, I mean, I did end up retreat, retreating up at the end.
Oh, that's a lot of boys. I might cure some of that. Uh, half my zombies burnt, but I think I'm done with this level anyway, so it probably doesn't matter that half my zombies got engulfed by lava. Yeah, there we go. I'm done with the um, snake birds. I got the shoals. I might just go to the shoals. I don't think I can fly. I should probably check for that. Ah, uh, that ring's not that good. All right, that's fine. Let me check for shields because I did see some better ones. I saw our tower shield of protection. Hmm. Oh, I didn't end up actually getting the heavier armor. I might just go get the shield skill up to like 21 or something. Okay, Mio Glottal. Can I buy the soul on this guy? Oh, ow. Bad chunk of damage, actually. I don't know if I'm winning this fight. This is a bit of a problem. I got to do the questionable thing of Berserker. Hopefully that's not a too questionable. Alright, there we go. And now I'm going to bind so at least. I'm going to go check out that shield. See if that's any good. See if it slows down my attack delay too much. Or whether I can actually use it. Because I don't really need the fire resist anymore. And the protection is always really good. So my attack delay is apparently 0 0.5. No, don't attack that guy. I just want to swing. So there's often 0 0.6. 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Okay, yeah, I do definitely lose a bit, but I think that's fine. I think I go with this one. And then I go to the shoals. And I've got a Mio Glotto on my side, which should summon creatures, theoretically. Yeah, there we go. Looks like it's summoning some demons. It's got 155 health. That's not too bad. Uh, hopefully these guys don't multi-tape me or anything. <laughs> and Therian's on my side, so Therian shouldn't. Oh, the shape just is like making it really hard to rest up there. Interesting that all the things that are running away with the fear, because I guess Mio Glotto has that, right? Yeah, it calls fear. Uh, it said all the things running away all the time. That might actually be fairly useful. Also, did I forget to raise my torch? I did, didn't I? I haven't explored too much of this level, but yeah, as soon as I. See the next group of creatures, they should go and raise my torch. Oh, there we go, Francis. Um, might just have to drink a potion to fly here. I think it's worth it. Yeah, tentacle monstrosity. Hopefully, we'll get Francis, but not tentacle monstrosity. Yeah. Tentacle star spawn. I had a bit of fear on Francis, that's all good. Wow, this karate of the level seems pretty good. I don't think that uh, that guy trying to mobutate temporarily is not affecting me, which is good. Just double checking, because I know like uh, having a friendly tormentor is not necessarily a good idea. And so there's all these like flashing colors and everything on the screen. It's sometimes hard to figure out what's going on. Also, it looks like random walls are sometimes appearing um, when the level gets corrupted as well. Whoa. Yeah, Mio Glotto kind of gets out of hand if you leave them for a little while with all their creatures they like to summon in. I can't even deal with this guy. I'm just going to have to let my creatures do their thing. Wait, the Mio Glotto summons the things to fight plants? That's hilarious. I would have expected them to only summon them to fight, like, actual enemies. Let's go. Oh, there's a cloud of fire engulfing things. I wonder I can't explore properly. Uh, I want my willpower back. That would be nice. Alright, well, that's uh, as much of that as I can explore, except I can't fly, so I can't do the whole of the level. Uh, it's weird just seeing, like, everything just running away every now and then. Should exclude out that ghost fall. In fact, I'm gonna take who's in here. There's 
Dappers goes today. Oh, they've got Crystal Spear. They've already got 88 health. What are they? A deep health conjurer for humans? That takes health. Um. Kind of tempted to find them, but they do have a Crystal Spear, so maybe not. Although, no, I can't even hold torch light at them, can I? Huh. Most of my gods don't work. Uh, my god abilities don't work with undead, I don't believe. Could be a little bit hard to place. Oh, that's the manuals. Oh, I do want fighting. Maybe some dodging. Definitely some shields. Do I just grab this right now? I'm never going to get the crystal plate armor at this rate, but I'm just going to grab the manual of shields. I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, because I'm definitely trading those right now. Trying to get up to like 21 or something so this tower shield doesn't give me too many penalties. That's the advantage with being short blade, so you have uh, plenty of um, experience to put into like other skills besides your main weapon one. Hey, what's up, Taxi Cab Samurai? You come to find a hilarious run going here because they got a. Uh, Got Mio Glottal bound with the Yordel null ability, so I get a whole entire army just summoned in by Mio Glottal. Yeah, it was a really good uh, thing that I bound like Mio Glottal. It's made such a big difference in this area. Like, this was actually fairly tough. I bound Mio Glottal, and now I'm just like walking through. It's kind of hilarious. I mean, eventually Mio Glottal's gonna die, right? Because I, I think they only have like 150 health or something. 155, but. Hey. Until then, I should have a nice, easy time with things. I've still got to be uh, careful not to, like, personally get myself in danger, though. Even with this entire army around. Um... <laughs> How have you been going, Taxi Camp Samurai? Have you got, um... Got any crawl going? Oh, hello, Talos Fugit. Oh, I'm meant to be playing, uh, Baldur's Gate right now, aren't I? Man, I kind of lost try track of time because my stream disconnected, so I'm actually an hour later than I thought. Um, oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, double your summons, definitely, definitely. All right, I'll be there a little bit, Talos Fugit. I might just add your Discord right now, though. That's probably an idea. All right, where's Discord? Did open it this morning. Just make oh, it's loading up again. I hope it doesn't have to do some updates or anything. All right, Discord, where are you? In theory, that should have started a call. Let me just go check on my volume. Yeah, that's about right. Hello, sir. Hello. Right, let me go check that that's doing? looking about right. I'm not too bad today. How are the levels looking? Everything looking good today? Yeah, this is a this is a crazy uh, minotaur I've got going here. Um, I'm watching you. You're doing uh, you're doing irid. Yeah, and I got a bound like uh, Mio Glotto just summoning all the abyss creatures. Oh, is that what you've got going on? <laughs> That's super cool. All right. Well, um, I might oh, actually. I've already just started this level. I should probably start up Baldur's Gate around now. No, go ahead. I want to. Uh, I, well, actually, how deep is the shoals? Is it four? It's four. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you'd actually have two whole levels to go. Yeah, yeah we do. might as well just go with with Baldur's Gate. If it was, uh, if you were on the, if you were on the rune level, I would have said just get the rune. Right, yeah, because it probably wouldn't even take too long with us, but no, if it's, uh, it's a couple of levels away, so I think just... This is a wild... Oh my god, look at what you're doing there. Yeah, the, I get like an entire army of abyssal creatures, it's ridiculous. Oh no, Mike. Mike's basically the bait of a, um, Eurodelda worshipable, but I forgot to light my torch, I should go do that. Because it means that, <laughs> uh, well, you don't really want to go up staircases, because then you lose, like, your torch light and stuff. Uh, which I, maybe I shouldn't have lit my torch. Maybe I should have just gone upstairs. But yeah, I'm just absolutely pulling at everything, which is a bit of a problem. I yeah, you're I'm... in a kind of a rough spot here. Hold up. I can make this better with a bit of fog. 
If the fog spreads properly, there we go. That's what I want to do, okay. Once I get the fog out, oh, I can't do my fathomless shackles. That would have been nice at the moment. But the fog's really good to stop the javelin. He is messing me up. Um. Oh, did I lose my Mio Glottal? I might have lost my Mio Glottal. No, he's still alive. He's over oh, there. Oh, no. He's over there. No, he's, he's, still, he's still there. He's fine. He's just, I don't know what he's doing all the way over there, but... What's sleeping everything? What's causing everything to go to sleep in this Um, fight? I think it might be... It's not Mio Glottal himself, but it might be something he summoned in. He's definitely doing a little okay. fear. I just happened to... Like, a lot of the stuff is, like, uh, sleeping in this fight. Yup. And I know the enemy is satire is like those guys can put my guys to sleep. Um, but I'm not sure which oh, one of mine are sleeping the enemies. But I know that a lot of the abyssal creatures do like to sleep enemies, so. Alright, well I think that might have cleared everything out. Pretty much. I mean this is one dude over here. I should try and wait for like Mio Glottal to get his health back, because he's definitely worth it. <laughs> there we go. You surviving that fight is crazy. That was a, that was a hell of a fight. Oh, the Tasty Cam Samurai thing is crazy. The Mio Glow survived. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad the Mio Glow survived. But that was a kind of crazy fight, just pulling everything in. I don't think most characters could have like fought all those ones at once, but most characters could have gone upstairs. To be perfectly honest, because there was a staircase right oh, there. Oh, that's true. So uh, what's the what's the Irid mechanics now? Like, how's how's Irid work? I don't need this protection. So what they do is you've got the you got the light the torch one, which gives you like a few temporary things to get you started when you go to a uh, level. Uh -huh. But you can only do it once per level. So if you um don't finish off a level and you like go upstairs or something, then you lose your light the torch and you only gain piety while the torch is lit. Um. Oh. Yeah, they're basically just killing things, animates are dead, and then you've got various other things like Hull Torchlight, and you get a, you can do that a number of times per level equal to your piety, I think. Like, number of piety pips. Um, uh. You can also still bind souls. The Phasm of the Shackles was really cool, I didn't get to show you there, but it puts out like a little aura around you which life drains everyone and just absolutely zooms your health up. It's really fun. Uh, and it your head sounds pretty strong now. They can be. You have to be a reasonably tough character to keep your undead alive, but all the tough characters, they can make you way tougher. Whereas on a weak character, you tend to run to problems where you have to constantly retreat back and then your undead die and you can't really get the ball rolling. But no, they make tough characters so much more tough. That's really cool. Now, as I, if I remember correctly, that was kind of always Irid's thing, where like it was always about like keeping the snowball rolling. Yeah, except all their abilities used to be based on having zombies. So what it used to be once you enter the level, you're like really weak. Whereas now you've got your um light the torch will give you a few temporary undead. You could do the whole torch light immediately once you get on the level. And you can also do the fathomless shackles immediately if you need to. So you've got a lot more things that you can do like immediately without having to kill any undead. Or kill any creatures to make that's, undead. That's really quite quite strong. Yeah, so there's less situations where they feel completely useless now, which is great. Um, anyway, I'm starting Sounds really up, cool. Starting up some Baldur's Gate here in theory. Yeah, I'll get I'll get mine going as well. I've been uh I've been restreaming your stream for the last like ten minutes here. Ah, yeah. Welcome back to Dungeon Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. For some reason, my mouse is struggling. Yeah, this is not good. All right, but anyway, at least I don't really need the mouse to play cruel, so I should be good. Uh, hopefully. What am I doing? It looks like I'm finishing off the shoals here. Yeah, well, the keyboard's still working, so that's good. Um, ooh, That's right, I had the bounce soul for Mio Glottal here. Apart from that, I think I'm just a melee character. Oh, that's funny, all these uh, guys are running away from me because Mio Glottal is scaring them off. What does this character actually do? So I just kind of ran around and stabbed things with a little rapier, I think. Whoa, that's so many of these dudes. Do I actually have any regen with this character? I might have a little bit, let's see. Regen 1.3 a ton, I'm not sure, that doesn't seem like I do. It'd be nice to get a little bit of regen. 
because then I, oh, I'm bombed. I might just let these guys come to me because then I can kind of keep this army swarming in a bit better. Oh, I see what sort of ending I have here. I put on those sort of castle ones. Oh, yeah. Oh. That seems to be going just fine. Actually, what sort of amulet am I wearing? That's actually... Oh, it is a regen amulet, so I do have a little bit of regen. All right, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't have that much regen unless I was a troll otherwise or something. Um, right, I have the zombies from Uradel now. Ooh, this guy's airstriking me, I think. Uh, let's try to get up to this guy and just stab this one. Did I? Oh, I didn't raise my torch. I should totally raise my torch um, so that I get piety. Because I do. I'm missing a little bit of that. How's my... I've got to make sure that Mio Glottal's nice and healthy. He's the most important one here, I think. Keeping him nice and healthy, because they, they do seem to summon a lot of creatures. Oh, that's right. The, the Abyssal Wolves, they kind of match him with the colors of some other wolves, like that one there. I've got to be a bit careful with that. Wait, what's going on here? Why am I not moving? Oh, there's a wall down there. <laughs> Tricked me. Uh, i got to try and charge this Minotaur. It's not the best. I'm not going to be able to surround it properly. Ooh, it's damaging me a glottal. That's not great. Huh. I might just, um, might just have a little bit of torchlight in here. It should at least buff me a glottal as well. There we go. That did something. Is that a wall or what is that? That's a floor. Okay. So hard to tell with everything getting corrupted here, though. The javelin's doing a bit of damage to me. I'm still okay with my health. But unfortunately, it's getting rid of some of my undead as well when it does that. Um, ooh, ow, that hurt a lot. I'm actually going to have to do my fathomless shackles, I think. Yeah. That javelin is just being kind of nasty. and oh, I'm barbed as well. All right, well, at least the fathomless shackles has got me going. Right, what do I want? I might actually get a little bit more shield skill just because I got a manual on it. I think it's worthwhile. Ooh, there's an archer all the way up here. Um, ah, it's running away. Oh, yeah, I should just be waiting with these barbs, actually. Okay. Oh, is Mio Glottal still around? I mean, these guys are getting feared, so must be, right? Where, though? I think I recall by our dead. Um... Wait, it can't be one of these guys doing fear. Who's doing the fear? Is it this one? Oh, it's probably the Edelon. Uh huh. I see. I don't know, I'm just not seeing Mio Glotto anymore. I tried recalling him my undead and he didn't come along. It'd be kind of sad if he died because he was doing quite a lot for me. Try recalling again. No, I don't think he exists anymore. That's a shame. Oh, well, I tried to keep him alive, but didn't quite manage as it turned out, I think. Had to bind someone else, I guess. Oh, Chant on Walls, I saving up for it. Seems to be heavy armor. Found at some stage, I was possibly. Oh, those are really good rings. I don't actually need this one. I was possibly going to put on some crystal plate armor if I can ever afford that one. Oh, I finished my manual of shields. I don't actually want as much as I'm getting there. I'll just stop the shields at 22, I think. Hey, Roger, how's it going? Well, the tournament must almost be live now, right? I should check that one out at some stage. I don't know if I'll do it today. I'll probably try and do that one tomorrow, I think. No, I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Ooh. Ow. Can I try my condenser vein on these guys? That didn't really work. As well as I'd like. I mean, it's probably fine. Hmm. Oh, it is live? Yep, yeah, must go live like about an hour ago, right? I should have checked it before I started the stream, but I didn't think to check it. But I guess I already had this character going, so I can't exactly start another trunk game. Oh, space you, Jen. I'm going to try and retreat back a bit. I just want to get a bit of health. I also want to get back to it without creatures, I think. 
All right. Unfortunately, I think my zombies are getting left behind, which is a bit of a shame. All right, I'll pull back my zombies. Yeah, most of them are dead now, unfortunately. So what is the first challenge anyway in the, um, in like the cosplay tournament? We have a week to do the Tiamat challenge. Tiamat? Wait, has Tiamat changed much? A drug? I guess I'll find out. I presume that requires some kind of draconian, though, if you're going for the Tiamat challenge. Oh, I do have something to identify. Where did I get that? Push some magic. A draconian gladiator. All right. I can totally do one of those. I'm interested to in see what the various challenges are for, though, because those are the kind of the hard parts, so sometimes getting some of the stars. But I seem to remember draconian gladiators being fine. Um, better if they're dex-based ones, but definitely being quite good with their extra armor class. I don't even want with this character. Bring the armor up to like 20, yeah. But that's not going to be much. I'll bring the fighting up to like 22. Invocations, I guess I'll bring up a bit. I'll probably just go with the Invocation Gods and, uh, title at the end with this character anyway. Oh, Draconians have a new breath. That's right. I've never tried out their new breath because I like won all the Draconian combos. No, that would be fun to try out their new breath, see what I get. Right, no, that makes a lot of sense. I totally forgot about that one. Uh, there's a box of beasts and there's a phantom mirror. I wonder what I'm carrying around this filling my inventory. Oh, I don't need the scimitar anymore, do I? My mouse is still being glitchy. That's weird. I don't know why my mouse is being glitchy all of a sudden. Because it was working, like, earlier today. Um, what am I carrying around that I don't need? Probably, I probably don't need the flame wand anymore. No, that's right, because the breath has like three charges and stuff now, right? Um, I've done snake pit, right? I've got two runes. I got tons of reserves. Okay, so you could probably just head straight into the vaults, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't get ambushed too much on the way over. Oh, there's a tournament page. Oh, let me just grab a quick look at that one. I think. Oh, of course, like ah. I can't really open that properly anymore because my mouse is not working. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out later on. That's a lot of hydras. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, they're kind of disappearing. I don't know if I... Oh, wait. I don't really feel like I'm winning this fight. I might use this newfound phantom mirror I've got here. And maybe the box of beasts as well. Oh, this is a low beast. I must not have much skill. Uh, oh, I know what I need to get in terms of skills. I need to get throwing. I totally forgot to get my throwing. Let's just bring that up to 16, I think. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, they back up to me. Okay. I, mean, I can hit them with a wand of warping. What else do I do? I, I, know, I know what I can do. I can hold some torchlight. That doing much? Ooh. Maybe not. I guess I can hold some more torchlight, but this is my last torchlight to hell. Oh, okay, I did the trick. It did cause a bit of piety, though, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Hopefully I can get to the vaults now. Oh, that's quite a lot of stuff. I might just... Actually, no, I'm going to light my torch, and hopefully it gives me some creatures. There we go. That's enough to kind of kill those guys and get the ball rolling. Oh, also, I'm trying to find a soul to bind. If there's anything in here that looks particularly good, because I lost Mew Glotto, unfortunately, at the ending to the um, shoals there. But hey, Mew Glotto were fun while they lasted, definitely. Um, <laughs> having an entire army of abyss creatures for a while was really fun. Oh, there's a death talisman? Did I... I don't know. I don't feel like Mio, uh, not Mio Glow, your Delta would be very good to the extended. So I probably won't end up doing that, but it's definitely an option. Like, if I want to go into extended, I could put on a Death Talisman. I've got more identified. Do I even need that? Like, is that completely useless? No, I've still got Acquirement, Butterflies, Summoning, Torment, Ambrosia. It, oh, okay. Yeah, there's tons of stuff to find. Oh, my guys are stepping forwards. So that's not what I want. Oh, like, can I just, like, recall them? No. Come on. Oh, they were getting themselves killed. Oh, well. I just really don't want to step into there because then I'll be getting frozen by all the guys that freeze areas and stuff. 
All right, well, this is not too bad. That's the problem with the zombies. They don't understand these doors. And how you can use them as choke points instead of just standing there when everything's hitting you at once. Actually, do I even have willpower? I've got tons of willpower this time around because my amulet. So I don't have to worry about those guys mocking me at least. Oh, you put, uh, you down on the Reddit post for the tournament as a streamer. Hope that's fine. Yep, that's totally fine. I will be streaming it hopefully tomorrow is the plan. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, tomorrow's my nephew's birthday. Um. Hmm. Might be able to do a short stream in the morning, but, uh, it's not like his actual birthday, but like it's his birthday celebration. Because we weren't able to do it on the actual day. Um. Ooh. I don't know what's going on there. For some reason, I didn't move when I pressed the keys. So, mm, I don't know if I'll be able to stream tomorrow. I'll see what, see if I can or not. I might be able to do the morning, but I don't think I can do the afternoon. But hey, at least it's a week long, so I'll definitely be able to find some time where I can stream this tournament. Hey, it's an actual scroll to identify. We've got tons of identifiers. Ooh, butterflies. Yes, I definitely want that. I come out of my mouse is not working here properly for some reason. I can't figure out why that is. This is. Okay. Don't need the amnesia. What else do I need? So I got the charm weapon, but I'm not sold on like a um I'm not sold on like going with a rapier of venom for the rest of the game, but maybe I do need to just need to enchant it anyway. Preferably I'd try and find a quick blade with this character, because that sounds like a lot of fun. Um oh no, wait. Oh, I have a scroll of silence, but she's already summoned a couple of weapons. Alright, I think it's fine to go pop the silence now. Oh. Ah, oh, my guys. Ah, I didn't want them to move there. That's not quite right. Um. Oh, they're just getting themselves killed. That's totally not right at all. I might just throw out some acid, but I don't know if I'm going to win this fight, actually. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm winning. Oh, hey there, Thunderhawk. Not quite what I want to see. I might pull these guys around this corner. Yeah, it's basically just me silenced right now, so I might actually just back up a little bit. Because the silence is going to wear off pretty soon. It's almost worn off, so I can head, uh... What was do I have here? I've got, like, a mind burst, I guess I could use on this guy. I'm just kind of staying back in my corner doing something. Uh, good. The silence is worn off, so I can now finally blink out if I need to. I just put a notice on there when you're about to stream your tier battle attempts. Alright, yep, yep, I think I... Yep, I can do that. Oh, there's a disc... Oh, in the Discord, okay. I'll, um... Oh, come on, mouse. I'm trying to open that up with using the mouse, but it's just not working for some reason. Alright, what do I want to do here? Whoa, not that. That's not working at all. I'm going to drink a healing potion. Okay. I think this is going to work. I just got to get close to the Thunderhawk so it doesn't zap me anymore. I do have the resist electric, so I'm not, like, super worried about this guy, but it was getting me kind of low on health. Alright. Some trolls. I'll wait for them to come up to me. Thankfully, this time around, I can actually use the choke point properly, and my zombies aren't just gonna run up and get themselves killed. I mean, that last zombie didn't quite understand the assignment, but it's fine when there's only uh, one troll left. Hey, first level of the bolt start. It was actually fairly tough because. Oh, I should have, like, tried maybe soul binding Zanana. That's ah, alright. Let's bring some of these guys up. Next, Unique, I guess I'll have to wait for you. I totally, I totally forgot. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even soulbound Zanata because I wasn't doing particularly well in the fight. Oh, I could have soulbound because I had to do a silence, right? I mean, I, there might have been a little time where I could do it, but not really. Alright, I got my torch lit, so I can't really leave this level anymore without, like, unlighting my torch. It's a bit of a shame. Oh. How do I stop this guy recalling? I mean, I can always hit him with a polymorph, right? Hey, there we go. I'm off the wrath. That's one way of stopping one of those guys recalling.
Uh, oh, by the way, the second banner is Kill Tiamat or a Pearl Dragon. Oh, that's interesting. So if you didn't find Tiamat, I guess you can get into extend it and try and find a pearl dragon in the holy hell or something. Is there any way you can like guarantee a pearl dragon? Hmm. Just think about that. <laughs> no, no, I think there's a decent chance that you could do that within a single game, but it's definitely not something that's guaranteed. Something that you could try for. Oh, I'm losing all my oh, losing all my guys here. Uh this, this is currently okay, but I can't stay here too much longer. Oh, also, I'm not getting the zombies because these guys are getting... I should actually teleport out here. I definitely should. I'm not getting the zombies because they're all getting turned into my guys. Oh, come on, teleport. I'll do another one. Give me a real teleport. There we go. That's better. That one actually gets me out of there, like my previous attempts at teleporting. Oh, the DCSS wiki states, Pearl Dragons are very rare, only occurring in holy-themed pandemonium, ziggurat floors, or holy-themed vaults and depths. That checks out, though. You could definitely get them in the ziggurats as well. That's right. No, I've, um... Oh, hey, Menace. It's got... Mm, got a lot of stuff. Okay. I'll try and bind him. Ow, what did he do to me? What just happened to my health there? Oh, the soul bind did pain to me. Whoops, I didn't even realize it was a thing. Okay. Uh, he's absolutely slaughtering my undead. I want to hit him with a bit of acid. Definitely. Oh, he's got me with the silence. I don't think I even hit with the acid. He's got his whole towel shield and everything. Um, this could be really bad, actually. I don't think I can polymorph him, can I? Zero percent. I'll oh, turn him into a Dave or something. Hey, you can turn him into a Pearl Dragon. I guess that's one way of fighting a Pearl Dragon. Although it might not count if it's not a real Pearl Dragon. Hey, got him with the acid, finally. But, um, I might actually just hit him with a bit of warping. Didn't do that much damage, but it does get through his shield, which is kind of why I'm doing it. I'm gonna try and poison him up. Nah, it's not working. I'm just going to hit him with some more warping. Okay, am I any good at throwing? I've got, um, I've got 10 throwing skills. So I'll try some silver javelins on him. Uh. I didn't work that well. I'll try, um, I'll try another warping on him. See if I can get him a little bit further away, but... The reason I'm using, like, javelins is because they ignore shields. Oh, he did silence again. Maybe I should have done something before he got a silence on, like, my shackles or something. I feel like I need it um, in this fight, honestly. Okay. Oh. Uh... I don't massively want to... Oh, I guess it's fine if I hit my own undead guy. It's not perfect, but I guess it's fine. Hey, I'm outside of the silence. Do I do the... I need... Oh, but I need him inside the... I need him closer to me to be able to get him with the... Um... Shackles, don't I? He's out of reach at the moment, I think. Okay. Uh... And silence is going down in radius. There we go. Now we can hit him with the shackles. Which I... Oh, that was not what I meant to do. What did I even do there? Oh, nothing. That's fine. I just exited the menu. Um, So he's shackled in place. Now we should just be able to hit him. Because he's rooted at least. Theory, I'm doing something to him? What's up with my zombie there? Why is it just wandering randomly? I don't understand that. Oh, I'm losing my shackles, but it's keeping me alive. Oh, I've lost my shackles, haven't I? That's a shame. I guess I'll just warp him away from me again. He's really, really, really hard to... Oh, should I really be soulbinding him? Oh, well, I guess I am. He's really, really tough to take out, though. Uh... Like, I'm throwing everything at him that I can think of. There we go. The problem with Soulbinding is it does silence. I totally forgot about that until after, like, I'd already done the Soulbind on him. 
Oh, well, it's probably fine. Yeah, he's got a... I don't know, that might have been a bit bad mistake. Soul binding him. I just needed some unique to soul bind. Uh, and he's definitely, like, tough enough, but I'm, I'm worried about the silence. Um, I don't think I can, like, command him not to do the silence or anything either. Oh, well. I'll just, like, next time I find a unique, I'll probably just try to, like, soulbind them. And the good thing is, when you soulbind a new guy, and you've already got a soulbound guy. The soulbound guy you've got sticks around until, um, after you, uh, soulbind the new, like, after you successfully soulbind the new guy. So you've got the soulbind guy to help you get a new soulbound guy. Guys are trying to sneak up behind me. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done with this level. There we go. That wasn't too bad at all. Let's uh, find a way downstairs. And let's just head down right now. Is a distant wind. I do actually kind of want to get to that. Do I have magic mapping on me? I got three revelations. Yeah, I got to read one. I think that should be fine. So it's just straight up from where I am, basically. Oh. Shapeshifter. I do actually have my polymorph on me, weirdly, so... There we go, I can just change what type it is. Oh, I, don't, I haven't lit my torch yet, although I shouldn't light my torch yet. What I should do is I should go into this, um... This is Desolution first, and then I should light my torch once I get out. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my torch on this level. Alright, let's head on in. Um... Recall my guys. Light my torch, because I can have my own separate torch in here. That should hopefully get the ball rolling. Oh, I hate that silence. Um, I think this is fine, though. Oh, how many runes are you going for? I've currently got two of them. I think I might just go for three or four runes for this character, honestly. Oh, it's a manual spell, I don't think I'd do that. Yeah, because I don't feel like the... I don't think you can really make the undead work for you in extended. I mean, I guess you still have your, like, your shackles and stuff. That might still work. Oh, these gloves of strength. I've got gloves of cold resist. Actually, um, even my gloves actually give a couple of strength. I think I keep my current ones. So, fortune of speed. Let me just look at that. It's probably not that good. So, 0.5 to actually 18 damage. I point five to uh, fourteen damage. Yeah, it's actually not terrible. I mean, I do do venom on my current one, so that's probably still better. Oh, I'm wearing plus four chainmail of coldness, which is all right. I don't. Oh, wait, there's a plus five rapier of venom. That sounds good to me. Oh, that's way too long a list. Short blades. Okay. What other good things? I've seen a rapier of electrocution. I've seen... It's a good old dagger of speed that I used to have, but I'm going to go with this rapier of venom. Uh, why can't I carry that? What am I carrying? I mean, I can obviously just drop my current rapier and swap it out for a better one. All right, well, that's going to be better damage, right? So that's up to 19 damage. Yeah, that's going to make a big difference. Also, this level doesn't seem to be too bad, um, so far. Like, it doesn't even feel like I'm getting swarmed by creatures or anything. It's always a nice thing, although that guy just, just sat me with a lightning bolt. And it was before, man, let's put up the silence as well, so, um, it would have made a lot of noise. Alright, I gotta get this guy before it recalls, I think. Huh? There is the guy recalling. I don't think there's much I can do about that. I think I'll just kill the ones that are in front of me. Yeah, there's the guys that got recall behind, like this guy, like the Imperial Mimodon. Thankfully, with that one, oh, it shouldn't be too bad, although this doesn't look the best. No, I think too many things got recalled in there, and I might just do a teleport. 
All right, recall the undead and just start fighting these guys. Well, obviously, as soon as I recall the undead, I get uh, silenced because of madness. Right, I'll just head back down to the area where the guys were before, because they've pretty, yeah, they've kind of spread out now. It looks like they've killed most of them already. Ooh. Is Barding? I'm not quite the character for that. I'm, uh, what am I, a Minotaur? I'm an unholy cow, so yeah, I'll be a Minotaur this time around. Uh, it's plus one S dragon seals. Oh, they're Barding a fire to this, so if I was something that could actually wear Barding, they wouldn't be terrible. Oh, look, yeah, a Spectral Short Sword. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, there's my uh, vial of floods. I was looking for that earlier with Zanata, but I didn't have it at the time. I've got a number of things. I might just drop the normal see invisible here. Oh, whoops. Ah. I'm putting all the wrong things on my uh, dropping list there. There we go. Let's drop it properly. So we've got a rig of resist corrosion. I might, um, I might not need that. Hold up. Where's my resist corrosion coming from? Because I've definitely got it right now. Oh, it's coming for the fire resist evasion ring. Yeah, I mean, that's useless. Uh, which means I can grab the vile floods. These boots look good. They're the mounted boots. I love those ones. So they cold resist and steadfast, so you can't be pushed around. They're just a straight upgrade of what I've got. So I'm just going to grab those and put them on. Yeah, one more armor class. So I can't be pushed around by elephants and stuff anymore. I think I maxed out my cold resist as well, which I seem to be doing pretty well at. All right, well, that Desolation Assault was remarkably not too bad. Wait, why did I just turn my auto explorer off? That's not right. I was trying to just look at what items are on the ground, see if there's anything useful here. I uh, don't need the gloves of strength. I don't need that rig of this corrosion. I've already looked at this stuff. Okay, there's not too much on the ground. Let's just get out of here. And now I can light my torch. Okay, um, I actually recall some of my guys here because they seem to be left behind a little bit. Yeah, Meta seems to do some pretty good damage, so he does... Wait, he's got a demon weapon draining? Oh, because he got corrupted, so he no longer has his Holy Wrath one. That's a really interesting little detail. Huh. And he gets two attacks with it. They do slightly different damage each for some reason. Okay. That's still really good damage, like uh, 37 or 30 damage, plus a good 15 or so draining damage. Wait, why is the draining damage listed twice? That looks a little weird, but... Uh -huh. Uh, I do have another identifier, so this is a scroll of acquirement. Look at that. Okay, so I could get a rig of slow fly resist negative intelligence stealth. I don't really need that. I get a hat of intelligence or a rapier of protection. Might just have to take the money on this. What's my hat? Oh, what is my hat? Actually, I have a Minotaur, so I might actually just take the hat. That's probably a good idea. I don't really need the intelligence, but a hat's a hat, right? So I'll, I'll go take it. Um, I don't actually know if that's that special, but it's something. Oh, I might drop that uh, phone sheet. It's not actually that good. Do I actually have any spells to use this with? Because it doesn't actually give me any more um, armor class or anything. Because it's only a plus zero hat, but it is something I can enchant. Oh, lightning rods? There's been so many vocals in here. Usually they wait till like the last level of the vaults or something. Hmm. Can't drop the identifiers just yet. I still got the enchant weapons on me, which is what's filling up quite a bit of my inventory right now. But I can probably drop some of these spellcasting type of things. Let's see. So I've got brilliance. Yeah. I can leave those on the ground until I ever get a spell. If I ever get a spell. I right, level 20. Agility. Agility is fine. I think I'll be getting a mixture of strength and agility with this character, because uh, agility helps my damage like a little bit. Strength is going to help reduce my armor, armor encumbrance. 
Um, in fact, at the moment, I could get a little bit of dodging, but I'll probably try for some heavier armor later on. I don't know how worthwhile it would be. I don't want to let my creatures in, but I don't think there's really a way for me to do that. Because if I step back there, I'm just going to send one of my creatures forwards. Ah, like, over here, where well, I was trying to get my creatures in as well, but it just wasn't quite working to surround the enemies. Oh, I should probably actually just run into the center of this room and recall my undead. There we go. That's probably the right thing to do. Hey, Exdahua. Um, with the paralysis that doesn't really work, the searing brows, the 200 something health. I know Madness is probably tougher, but I'm going to actually uh, soulbind Exdahua here. Wow, there's a lot of pain when I soulbind someone. There's like 60 damage to me. It's always a bit of a worry. All right, well, I can do the Phantom Bear at least. All right, there we go. Now I've got to wait. Where's my X to her? There's my X to her. With the 150, no, 250 health, that's pretty good. Wait, the Searing Brassville's doing 3d40 damage. Now it's doing 3d20 slits. That's disappointing. Why did it get nerfed when I took over um, X to her there? Oh, well. It's fine. Well, it's not quite what I was promised. Is a tank get a triple crossbow? That's a really good mod if you're like actually into ranged weapons, but this character's not. Though so you can definitely do minotaurs with ranged weapons. You can do the minotaur with pretty much any kind of weapon. <laughs> and it just kind of works. How do I get to these guys to go all the way around here by the looks of things? This level definitely feels like it's been way easier than the level above. Um, it might have just been because I had more things sold by or something. Minotaur just works. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, let's see, unless you're doing spell casting, but I like it just kind of works. All right, let's find a way downstairs. This one will do, I think. Uh, oh, throwing 16, good. I really did need that. Yeah, I don't think I could have really killed Madness without those javelins, because the javelins bypass the shield, so they're really good against them. Gonna get the armor to 20. Uh, fighting was like 22 or something. I think invocations is the other thing I was getting. Before I realized that I hadn't actually trained my throwing at all. Well, I think it was sitting on like two or something. Uh, actually, I can move forwards, I think. That kind of works. Oh, hey, Donald. I don't think I worry about like soul binding him or anything. Um, that's better. Oh, Exo who are pushing people around? That's usually a good thing, but slightly awkward sometimes, I guess, when I'm pushing people into, well, when they were in a good spot. Hey, the fire team still does a decent amount of damage, despite getting, like, nerfed when it became uh, my guy's breath. How's uh, your red work anyway? Does your spooky dragon come back if it's killed? No, it doesn't. If, the, if my spooky dragon is killed, I have to just go soul bind another tough creature. But at least you don't have to have any zombies around to soulbind things, so it's actually, like, doable now. Oh, there's a Quiver there. And a Charm Weapon. And a Fear. And an Emulation. I mean, there's tons of stuff here. I'll still save me up for, like, some Crystal Plate now, which I'm ages away. I'm, like, 2,000 gold away from getting it. Because I keep on seeing other things that I want to buy, and it's not, like, massively important that I get the Crystal Plate armor. It's just a thing that, like, I could get, potentially. Oh, I should wait for Ace to Hua to heal up a bit. Because I think my, uh, I think I read it a lot faster than, unfortunately, Ace to Hua does there. I always feel like the little guys that you get as, like, more permanent summons should get more regen. A bit like, oh, hopefully a quarter as it gets a bit of regen to kind of make it less likely you're going to wander off without it healed up. I'm going to step into the center and recall my guys. There we go. It's not the usual way you do those rooms. It's just stepping into the center. But it works when you can recall a bunch of guys into them.
oh, that's neat, you guess, Mord, uh, Feast or Famine than Bjorg. Yeah, I mean, Bjorg, it can take a while to get your things back. I don't know. Oh, what am I doing here? Sorry, look at this shop. Book of the Warp? I mean, that's a lot of the high-level translocation stuff. Ooh, plate armor, that could be useful. Let's go check it out. Plus zero plate armor? No, unfortunately. Uh, this is not the best spot for me to have got myself into, is it? Uh, there was definitely better spots here. This is mildly questionable, but if I just target a whopping wand on myself, there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> it's kind of funny how you can use those as like an emergency, uh, like random blink. I mean, sure, it's not the best because you take a bit of damage. Plus four scale armor, fire resist, there's a robe, a minus cast. Not many people are going to want a robe minus cast. I don't think any of that stuff is massively great or anything. Let's just... Wait, I don't want to find my way down. I want to find my way to the elven halls, I think, at this point. Go? Go to the elven halls? Right, away zombies disappeared, which interrupted my rest, I guess. That's mildly annoying. I've had that before. It's Caves Ghost! Yeah, notice that caves back to playing their troll shapeshifters of Sith Mana. That's actually kind of a fun combo, though it might be not quite as good now that Manifold Souls 7th level. I don't know, I remember when I played it, I got like a... I think it was like Dragon Form, I just went and Manifold Souled everyone, channeled an extra magic to Manifold Souled even more. Oh, how long until they removed the self-warping like they did the self quick so Yeah, surely it can't be too long until they remove self-warping, but... Hey, I gotta enjoy it while I still can, right? Oh, I forgot to raise my torch. I should go do that. I don't know, I felt like with the Quicksilver ones, I often qu self Quicksilver more than I um, Quicksilver up enemies, which is kind of silly. I'm gonna try to get. Close to the center and recall my guys. Oh, everyone's invisible. I think Exa Hur can see them though. Yeah, it looks like they're dying pretty quick. Uh, I should do the Hall of Blades and hope it gives me a quick play because I think the chance of getting a quick play down to the Hall of Blades is reasonably good. And I haven't seen any other ones of those. Don't need the willpower. I've got that sorted for my amulet. There was some downside to my amulet. Oh, random corrode every now and then, but it's pretty good. In fact, can I actually do the random blink on that one? Not really. It's oh, it's twenty something percent failure. It's probably not too bad. All right, start the start the uh, flame burning here. Ooh, can I actually recall my guys again? I'm gonna try and hide behind my dragons and stuff. I didn't want to get Crystal Speared again, because I, I don't know if it Crystal Speared me, but it did a little bit of damage to me. Hey, what's up, Taxi Cab? How's it going? Oh, I might just bring these guys back a little bit. Uh... I guess I can move. Oh, I guess I can't move next to this guy. I'm just trying to... Trying to hit it. Oh, you just had dinner, chilling. How's the run? This is the run from yesterday. It's going pretty well, this run. Yeah, definitely going well. It's actually kind of fun, because I haven't played much Euro Del Null uh, at all, because I didn't really like them before the rework. Now I'll play them on any sort of tough character, um, where I can actually get a Swarm of Undead going. Because if you can't get your Swarm of Undead going, they're kind of disappointing. But if you're tough enough that you can get a Swarm of Undead going, they're actually pretty tough. Alright. I like how there's so much more options to actually get things going. My I'm on fire, are they? Uh, I'll just step into the room. Alright, I might just be the Hall of Blades. I should definitely do the Hall of Blades while I still got all my guys around. That would obviously be the sensible time to do it. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be animating a lot of guys in here, because these are all weapons, but oh well. Um, so I've seen one of the high tier weapons, which was unfortunately an evening star, which is not something I need. 
All right, level 21. I was going for... I was going to get a bit of strength to help with uh, wearing armor. I think it's the right thing to get right now. Although it's at 24 strength, so I could also throw in a little bit of... Um... Dex again? What's that? Oh, Rackney got moved. That's right. Rackney used to be in the spine nest, but got moved because she's too similar to all the other things in um, spine nest. Wait, what's up with that web? Greater and snare? Oh, she didn't use that. that. She has a staff of all community. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, it does up to 43 poison damage. I didn't realize that. It's a good thing I got the poison resist, but that takes out. She's always being kind of lethal if you didn't have the poison resist. That great as a snare probably doesn't matter for most characters, but it does kind of for the ones that have an army around them. That's interesting, that change. Using short blades for a title? No, I just felt like using short blades. Um, I kind of marked right now. I don't think there's many creatures. Oh, ooh. Special quick blades, nice. I was going to say, I don't think there's many creatures, but there's actually quite a lot of stuff here. I think I'm going to teleport because I am currently marked and I'm taking quite a bit of damage here. Uh, okay. I gotta get things uh, around me again, but I'll just step back a little bit. Hopefully, I can time out the mark. There we go. And then I might just read another teleport, I think. Alright, that's not too bad. There we go. Got most of my health back. Yeah, it's not the right place to get marked, but it's not too bad, I guess. Ensnare is new. Uh, she always had the ensnare, right? She had a. Um... She had like the like the normal one where she could whip you up, but it wasn't the one that like ensnared a whole group of guys. That's definitely a change. I don't think any of those darts and spells. I've got tons of other ways to dispel sling myself. State or quick blade, that sounds alright. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. What's the attack delay on this thing anyway? It's probably 0 0.5. I think it's mid delay. And it attacks twice if you're attacked, so I'm gonna charge it up. Because Venom's getting to the point where it's probably a little bit less effective, so I'm doing 15 damage, and I know there's more chart weapon in here as well. I think the Quick Blades work okay with Minotaurs. They're not, like, ideal, I don't think, but they work okay, because you get to throw in some extra headbutts when you're attacking so fast. Oh, got so many of these, I might be able to max this out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Maxed out Quick Blade. Um, do I even have some extras left over? I might do. In fact, I might drop my old rape here as well, because I don't think that's that good anymore. Yeah, I even have one extra scroll. Alright. At least that clears out some inventory space. That was well worth doing the Hall of Blades. Yeah, I, d I got exactly what I wanted out of there, which was a quick blade. Oh, this is a special ball. This is one with, like, all the, like, ball beetles and stuff. This was not too bad. Why am I... Oh, go by this guy. All right. Do my creatures sometimes fall behind me, or is it, uh, it's probably because some of the zombies are slow or something, and then other creatures get trapped behind the slow zombies or something? Because I feel like sometimes I do leave my guys behind ever so slightly. It's not really a big problem, because I can recall them pretty much for free. Ooh, um, this healing here. I'm not actually sure of those just yet. I'll just give it saving up for my crystal plate armor. There's also a cancellation. I've got, uh, I've got one cancellation. I don't think I need those right now. There's also Cryer's Mail Coat with the extra heal. I don't think that's that good. If I put it on, I lose a tiny bit of AC, get a tiny bit of evasion. It's about the same as what I'm wearing right now. Um, nah, it's not that good. There's also this cloak of acid protection. I'm wearing a cloak of... Plus two cloak. Okay. I don't need the acid protection, so like, I don't actually need that, because I got, I got a really good ring that gives it. A cloak of cloak. Yeah, basically a cloak of a little bit of AC, because it's plus two. What skill do I need? I don't know, my skills are doing pretty well, because of course I'm a minotaur, so they, they do that. I might just get a little bit more invocations. Because I'm going to go for an invocations title, obviously. Those are the easiest ones to get. Oh, those are the ones that it's kind of endless off. Oh, Spectrum is not perfect as a quick play. It's usually a really good brand, but... Oh, no. That's not where I want to be. Let's get out of here. Do I read a silence? 
Do I have a silence? I don't have a silence. Might pop a fear, though. Uh-huh. Next teleport scroll. One of these will get me out of here eventually. Um... I do a little box of beasts with a distraction. Ow. I splash these guys with a vial. Okay. Oh, finally. Thank goodness I got out of there. Wait, where's my good little guy? There's X to her. I hate the teleport to the, uh, like, the center of the elves. Especially when you get it, like, twice in a row. It's not the best. And it's usually a fairly small area, so the chance of getting teleported into there is not, like, huge or anything. It's not, the, like, the Hall of Blades, where you're almost certainly going to end up in the Hall of Blades. Alright. Or oh, X to her, you barely knew Next her. Hour, I barely knew her. Hey, the TGS worked! I think you're the first person to redeem the TTS Taxi Cab Samurai. At least I heard it anyway. I hope your other people did. I'm gonna treat up a bit here. I'm probably gonna lose a bunch of my zombies, unfortunately. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Please don't die on me. Oh, there's a uh, one of these guys. Um, an ice feed. Where's my staircase anyway? It's all the way back there. I think I just back up. Yeah, I think this is fine. I could go. Um, I could have to take the staircase, which means I lose my torch. But oh well. I think it's probably fine. Oh, come on, X to her. Heal up there. Well, like a hundred turns, you're still not healed. There we go. Finally healed up my X to her. I guess I have a lot of health, right? Not much regen, so it makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna back up again, but it's not working perfectly trying to back up with my creatures because I don't understand the idea of running back to staircases or anything. Well, I just want to heal up eggs to her a little bit. Nope, this is not, not a spot to run forwards, I don't think. Well, so many... Oh, no, it's got out of torment. There's so many guys here. Wait, that's... None of these ones are the ones that summon it, right? They don't summon demons. You they do whole damnation and banishment. I'm in her elven halls. We are not the same. We are in her elven halls, but not the same. Oh, man. Uh, what do I want to do here? I don't know if I need to, but I think it's best that I just teleport out. Yep, that's the torment that I was expecting. Uh, oh, there's something, some sort of artifact on the ground. Just some scale mail, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want to run forwards anymore. I think it's time for me to back up just a little. There was another tormentor there. Ooh, ouch. Wait. Go around this corner and I go to try and teleport, I think, because I don't think backing up is going to work perfectly. Okay, that got me out of there. Good, so I can recall my undead. It's good, eh? So who is still, somehow still alive? I guess it's all the extra health they have, right? Um, I'm still okay here, but I don't want to take too much more damage. Oh, I probably should do a healing potion. Uh-huh. That's... Fine, I guess. So they had plus three chainmail. So all these artifacts are not even that good, unfortunately. Uh, just step there we go, so we can get next to her there as well. Unfortunately, I don't think these elf zombies are particularly good because they don't keep any of their spells. 
So they kind of stop uh, zombies. It's all like turning melee creatures into zombies or something. Which seems to work a lot better. I got a good old dragon talisman. What else have we got? A ring of ice and decks? Nah, I don't think so. Ice is exactly not what I need because I got tons of cold resist and not much fire resist. So it wouldn't be massively helpful or anything. Alright, got a good old stuff. What else have we got? Torment. I think I've had enough torment from all these um, enemies trying to torment me. I don't need some more. There's also a rapier of speed here, which would be another option if I didn't go with this quick blade. Um, but if I find enough of charm weapons, I could charge that one up. Oh, there's two slaying gloves there. I've got the gloves. Hold up. It's probably worth using these gloves because mine was too, like, cold resist and two strands. So I gained two armor class, two slaying if I put these on. Slaying's always really good. I might grab that when you're using a quick blade. Um, yeah, it brings my damage up to 19 per attack. It doesn't sound like a lot, but I get a lot of attacks. Alright, so I can land out the Elven Halls, no problems. I might just head to the depths then. Oh, come on. I want to pull this guy back just a little bit. Oh, come on, Exo. What are you... Oh, fine. I'll stand... I'll step up, I guess. Yeah, I don't actually fight that well in corridors with this character, as it turns out. I mean, I guess it's alright, I'm not gonna get surrounded, but none of my things really work properly in a corridor. My, uh, spectral doesn't work properly, my zombies don't work properly. Oh, what's going on? There's still one guy left here, it looks like. Uh, I might have stepped a bit further and recall my guys. There we go. That did the trick. I seem to actually be building up zombies rather than losing them as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, can I even get to that hell hog? It's probably something I can do. My creatures are definitely getting there. Oh yeah, this ring of uh, fire or whatever it is can get me there. That just, oh, I do have to take a fire resist to put it on though, so I don't actually end up getting any fire resist. I should make sure I definitely swap the bag because those fire resist resist corrosion evasion one is really good to have on. But it's the main reason I've kind of got any evasion at all really with this character. Alright, where's my way down? I think I'm done here, right? Good. Uh, I guess this is an okay spot to be standing. Oh, I'm taking a bit of damage. I'm going to just stand back and let, let my creatures do a bit. It's kind of surprising how often the paralysis on X2 actually triggers. Because I guess these enemies just don't have that much willpower. Well, some of them don't. Yeah, because the uh, willpower on enemies it doesn't really seem to scale with uh, level, really, or anything. I mean, it maybe does slightly. But, like, even early on, you can meet an enemy with infinite willpower. Do I want gold dragon armor? Maybe. I mean, if that dragon drops the armor, which it didn't, I think I'd probably put it on. I've been using my torchlight that much because I haven't been needing it, but I can't remember. Well, I should remember that I've got that available should I want to hold something because it does bite up my undead, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm just wondering whether I should rebrand this quick blade, but I'm not sure on that. I feel like my spectral is not often getting to do its thing, but when it does, it's quite useful getting out another creature there. Ooh, plus seven chainmail. It's got minus five int, but that's probably fine. It's got a cold resistance, resistance, electric, and two decks. 
That's probably worthwhile. I think my camera number was like cold resist or something. So let me go. Uh, let me go give this a try. Oh, uh, uh, you would. It might get resist electric. I've got resist electric already on one of my rings that I'll probably have on for the rest of the game. But uh, I think it'll get more armor class on this. Increase AC by three. Increase evade by point one. And uh, shield by point six for the extra dex. I guess. Right. So it's basically just better. Yeah, uh... Why am I missing a cold resist? Oh, because I swapped with the gloves, that's fine. I've still got two, which is more than I need for the rest of the game. I mean, uh, branding, oh, branding the quick play to try and get electrocution or something? Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I'll see how many branding I have uh, left. If I've only got one, I would don't think I'll worry about it, but I've got, like, two or three. I've got two. Sure, let's give it a try. I probably should go for the expensive one first. I should probably go for the free one. See what I get. Oh, I, I maybe should have finished that level so I didn't lose my zombies, but oh well, it's fine. Let's give it a try. It's a uh, freezing. Hmm. That's okay. 19 damage. It's one quarter of that, whatever that's going to be. So probably um less than five. Not bad for orbs of fire. Yeah, not bad for orbs of fire. They're not resistant to it or anything. I don't know. I'll go with it. See how it goes. Now, what level is I on? This level, I think. And it works better when I'm like uh, when there's nowhere for my spectral weapon to come out. So it's probably worthwhile. Because most of the time, there didn't really seem to be anywhere for my spectral weapon to come out, let's be honest. It wasn't doing so well, so yeah, I think this is an improvement. Alright. Do I just, like, get invocations, max it out or something, make sure I secure the title? I probably should. It's basically the best all-purpose brand. Yeah, it's definitely gotta be, it's gotta be out there in terms of the brand that you want to end up with late game, right? Um, And it's one of the more common ones as well, so it's one you often end up just stake it with if you find it. Alright, well, I can just head on downstairs, I guess. Arcane Bell. I won't, um, I won't do my raise torch just yet. I'll try and get to where this arcane power is first. So it's... Ooh, it's a decent way off, isn't it? It's all the way up there. Oh, well. I didn't quite manage to sneak over it uninterrupted, but I actually got a decent amount of the way there before any creatures came along. Alright. I should probably drop something before I get, like, the old uh, scale mail. What else have I got here that's not very useful? There's, oh, probably the polymorph's not very good anymore. Do I really still need that identify? I might just leave it outside. If I do need it, I can go grab it again, I guess. Oh, I've got some more brilliance. I mean, there's tons of things here I can drop. There we go. That'll do. Let's head on to this area. So it's, uh, oh, the Hellbinder. This one's usually fairly tough, I think. I might be able to do it, though. I should raise my torch, actually. Because each of these areas has, like, its own um, separate torch. So if I have to run, it doesn't really matter that I've raised my torch in here. I can still raise it on the level they end up going out to. Uh, you know, as far as this level goes, this doesn't actually seem too bad. This seems to be going pretty well. Whoa! Yep, there's a tormentor. So I've got to get a got to get a little bit of fog going. I think. Uh. Gonna hold a little bit of torch light. Model of these tormentors, but I think they're dying pretty fast. What are these guys anyway? Spectral rust devils. Oh yeah. And there's the hellbinder themselves. So they have the summoned greater demon of the whole damnation. So they've actually got some decent stuff on them. Ah no, not a. Wait, it's summoned by this guy. Can I just hold a little bit of torchlight in here? 
There we go. The Hellbinder themselves died. They dropped their mage and bow, which I actually don't need on this character. They also dropped the ring of poison resist, cold resist, resist negative, which I don't think I need. Double cold resist, strength resist negative. Well, so many things for cold resist and a manual summoning. Manual summoning makes so much sense in here, actually. Wait, where's the guy that the damnation on my guy? Must be killed by something, because I didn't even really see it. Oh, reflected emblem with two slag. Ooh. I don't know if I could do that. Um. Drop the mage in, but it's not like I'm going to need it. Where am I getting my willpower from? Let me look at that. And also, the regen is actually pretty useful. Is it just from the... I'm, oh, no, I'm getting willpower from a ring, and I'm getting willpower from... Three of it for my ablet. Hmm. What's this one? Willpower, resist corrosion, see invisible. It's similar to my, like, uh, resist corrosion one here. Yeah, no, it's not actually that similar. <laughs> resist electric, resist corrosion. I mean, there's so many, like, tempting things. I'm gonna have to go through my ring, see if I can swap the route to make them better or not. Um. I don't like carry route that I don't need. Oh, probably this identify. And there's a good old another book of summoning spells there. Well, I guess there's a book of summoning spells and the manual of summoning spells. They kind of make complete set for going into summoning. All right, well, I'm done with this place. That's one of the few times I've actually managed to clear out this hall of the Hellbinder. There's, right, it's very cold resist, resist negative, resist poison. I don't think I need that one. I might just get out of here. Um... Fire resist is actually fairly good. The resist corrosion is not too bad. The evasion is not too bad. Once the other ring, it does contaminate when you take it off. It's resist electric, resist poison, willpower. I've got a resist electric, resist poison, resist negative. Strength? I mean, this one over here might actually be better than the one I've got that contaminates when you take it off. Because it doesn't matter if I lose the willpower if I'm keeping with my carrot tablet, which I might have to keep with my carrot tablet. Hmm, okay. You gotta, uh, where's that death talisman? I think I just go swap this, so it's, um, apparently over here somewhere. I haven't raised my torch yet, but... So it doesn't really matter that we're about to leave this level. Although I will lose whatever guys I get in here. Ooh, that's also doing quite a bit of damage to me. Can I just go take this staircase? It's probably closer than uh, any of the other ones. Alright, now I can go get my tallies, but I think. So grab, oh, come on. Why don't I carry around? It's got to be some of these rings, right? So I could probably drop the, I mean, I could probably drop the cold resist willpower, resist cold resist invisible, maybe? No, the, might drop the fly fire this one. That was probably not that good. Although it's my only flight. Oh, well, whatever. Um, I'll drop the ablet as well. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to put that on. All right, so if I put on the death talisman, which gives me like 20 health or something, but that's all right. Then I can put on the resist electric and stuff rig. I can drop the old resist electric and stuff rig. I can wait off the contamination. There we go. And then I can end the death talisman. Who? Wow, that was like, uh, yeah, it looks like I'm really wounded right now, but it's only because my health was so bad before. Right, drop the death talisman and then go to, I think it was on depths level two. Oh, three. Um, don't care about the intelligence, let's just drop that one. And I'm hoping for some more gold dragons here, so I should go raise the torch actually, that's probably a good idea, let's go raise it right now. Because you don't gain piety if you haven't raised the torch. Not that I'm really short on piety right now, but it's still a good idea to have my torch raised. Ooh, hey, little shrike. I might just soften it up a little bit. There we go. 
with the the hell torchlight or whatever it's called. Oh, those things are gonna torment me. Hold on, I might hold a little bit more torchlight. See if I can get rid of some of the spells in here. This is not ideal. I might hold a little bit more torchlight. Um, because those are all like smite spells. So I didn't have a huge amount of health left. All right. I got two more torchlight left on this level, which should be completely fine. So I don't get myself into any more terrible problems or anything. But often you can get out of the problems like another way. It just requires using some other consumable. Oh, the bringer of uh, Blasphemy right now, which means I've got the right sort of title. I've got the Invocations one. Comrades, they don't really care about too much. Regen Ablet, nah, I'm good without that one. That's a cute title. Yeah, it's not the uh, one I'm going for, I don't think. I'll probably go with a Fallen uh, Minotaur, Fallen Cowl, or whatever it is. That would probably be the right one to go for. In fact, I probably already had this one. So I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, well, that's step three, no problems. Next level, I guess. Uh, I haven't seen any uniques. I want to, like, uh, go Soulbinder or anything just yet, unfortunately. But I need to keep an eye out. Oh, Gold Dragon, that's nice. Let's just pull these guys back just a little bit. Oh, come on, I don't want my guy to go there. Just retreat up a little bit. There we go. Now I can tell to attack. And if I carefully keep on repositioning it, I might be able to keep it where I want it. Um. I might just step up. I think it'll be fine. Also, I should take for a gold dragon armor because I did just kill a gold dragon there. Now I've got the Pearl Dragon Armor, apparently, which is one of the most rare types. Apparently, that's the only Dragon Armor I've seen this game. It's not what I would have expected in terms of armor. So we've got, oh, they've got an Iron Giant in here. That's probably, probably not going to go in there. Iron Giants are really tough. Whoops, I'm not excluding that properly. There's also... Unipix Ghost, they have a causal type nation, refrigeration, or oh, Ozacubus refrigeration, Lethra of Deconstruct, Spell Undead. What are they? Demon Spawn, Ice Elementalist, and Gozag. Refrig no, I don't think I go in there. Mainly not because of the ghost, mainly because of that uh, giant. Oh, come on. What's wrong with these gold dragons? I mean, that's only like the third gold dragon I've seen. I haven't fought too many of them. It's not ridiculous just yet. But it can get kind of ridiculous. Um, ooh. I think all these simulacrums throw it at me. Uh, okay, this is fine, I think. Because you just run out of simulacrums to throw. I'm not resistant to the negative energy, which has been a problem. Oh, uh, no, I probably should have told about her. She's not that tough. So he's got a death dice, but she's got a ring I don't care about. All right. It's a good old ice rig, unfortunately. A oh, where the holy dragon for maximum blasphemy. I don't know if, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's one way of, I guess you gotta corrupt it though first, right? Saw so something. I don't quite fits this character's theme. I just gotta hide in here. Um, kind of getting surrounded on both sides, but I think this is fine. All right. Well, that is scroll style. So I might pick it up. I do actually have the Violet Floods now, which is kind of nice. 
Oh, if I just drop the identify scrolls again. I think I've got some amnesia in there as well. I can probably go drop. Um, yeah, I do. So I do have plenty of stuff that I can drop in this game. I think the main thing this character hasn't found yet is a good suit of armor, although I think their arm is decent, so it will keep me going for now. Those guys actually removing the walls was kind of useful because they let more of my zombies get in there. All right, well, devs is done. I might go. I might go Vols 5, go corrupt that one, turn everyone in there into a zombie. I wonder if you can sold by the Royal Jelly. I wonder whether we was sold by the Royal Jelly. That's not the right place. Oh, because my, tra uh, my travel got interrupted because of my zombies died. Sure. Uh, okay. Let's read the teleport. Go down. Light the torch. I'm not pulling my guys, even though they almost killed that stone giant. Gotta go fight this lich, I think. Before it's up. Oh no, it's up to the brimstone feed. That's a problem. Um, might actually do another teleport. Okay, it's probably going to pop around that corner and get us in that. It's going to try and back up into this corner and hopefully that will give time for that brimstone feed to disappear is the idea. Good. I think the brimstone feed's gone and now I've got my army surrounding the red lich. That's so much better. That time it went properly. Um, why am I not picking up the electrification? Oh, there's a dude there. Maybe? I want to pick up... Well, it was off for some reason. Probably because I teleported out when there was, um... An invisible dreadlitch, I think is why. Well, check out this armor. It's plus three chainmail of three intelligence. Now I got the plus seven chainmail of, I don't know what, something. Certainly not intelligence, so, but... Something probably seriously more useful. I know it gets cold resist my current armor. Alright, well, it's one quarter of the Vaults 5 done. No problems with that first quarter. I mean, I guess the Dreadlitch was a little bit scary for a second there when I had to teleport out and stuff. Oh god, how many haste potions? 13 of them? That's ridiculous. I guess I can drink those fairly liberally, but I haven't really been needing them too much. Whoa, hold up. This is going okay, but I might just drop my shackles on these guys just to uh, get my health back a little bit. All right, that did the trick. What even appeared there? A phantasmal warrior appeared for like half a second before it got blown up. I don't think I even saw it. It was um, on screen for so little time. Wait, another haste potion? 14 haste potions? All right, then. It's crazy how many uh, things uh, randomness can throw at you. It's throwing eight blink at me, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, I think the consumables this game would be pretty decent. Gotta go fast. You gotta go fast, apparently. Alright, then. I wonder how speedy this game has been so far. I think so far it's been reasonably speedy. Um, That's fine. Oh, that's not so good. I gotta drop my shackles again. There we go. Yeah, there's too many nasty things getting summoned in this time round. I'm an inexorable tight. Hey, three runes. I'll probably just go with three runes this game. Although I'm definitely thinking about trying to solve by the royal jelly. Um, just to see what happens. Because I'm not really sure. 
do I have the resist? Well, the, I do. I've got uh, pretty much every sort of resist right now. So I totally could go try soul by the Royal Jelly. Mm, I d yeah, I think I might actually. I think I'll go for four runes just because that means I can soul by the Royal Jelly. Guys, might as I might just step back a little bit. There he goes, dead. Uh, gotta keep my health, uh, an eye on my health, but it's not too bad. It's 130, 100 and something, 105, whatever that is. I want to really just keep on running up to these guys, but okay. Almost got a little chance to rest up there, but I'm kind of getting pulled into endless fights here that I'm trying to avoid, but not doing a very good job at. I'm gonna let the auto explorer go where it wants to go, see what there is. There's a ring of flight. I actually don't know if I'm carrying any rings of flight right now, but oh well. Oh, is that some guy at Gimbo? It's plus eight. Gaia and Gimbal, they do protection. I lose my shield if I put this on. Um, so the 18 damage, 0.5 attack delay. Um, they kind of get twice the number of attacks, though. Ooh, I don't think I lose my shield for that, but Gaia and Gimbal can be really good. I might just drop, um... Oh, it's got to be something I can drop, right? Yeah, I mean, the identifiers aren't really needed anymore. Uh, I'm getting 25 shield values over for my shield, which is quite a kind of a lot, and I have to rate up like over 20 skill on the shields and stuff. That's ah, basic plus two cloak. I've seen seen my fair share of plus two cloaks. I think this time round. Oh, just leave the identify. I don't even know what I'm missing, but whatever it is, I don't seem to be fighting it. Some ambrosia by the looks of things. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, see, obsidian axe. That could have been a fun weapon, but I don't think. Uh, don't think for this character. No, I'm definitely finding things that if I found them earlier, I would definitely use them, like the um, guy with gimbal there. Also, did they use a better enchantment bonus? Also, the ground, nothing useful. It's basically just basic gear, broad axe of freezing, dire flail of freezing, resist cold, resist cold. What tower shields? I should probably take shields up to this. Uh, staff scale, mail of cold resist. It's a plus two tower shield. That's probably better than what I've got. So I'm using a. Wait, I'm using a plus two tower shield of protection? Never mind, it's not better than what I've got. All right, well, I was going to go... Do I just enchant my shield? Seems a little bit silly, but I think I just go enchant my shield. Um, And then I'll go to the slime pits. I might find gold dragon armor in the slime pits or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Probably not. I might find a dot. But it's getting kind of late in the game, so I'm going to enchant something. All right, well, the first level, no problems. Let's try this next level here. Also, no problems. I could probably light my torch, I guess. I don't know whether that makes sense or not. I mean, I guess it does. All right, next level. I might, but it's probably not going to matter because these levels tend to be fairly small. Oh, it's my dude. I thought that was an enemy for some reason, but no, that is totally my dude. Alright, last level. Oh, there's the rune. It's even got the jab in there, but I gotta go find the royal jelly. And go buy the soul, which I gotta... I wanna try that out. There's a love trap. That might get the attention. I'm fragile marked. Uh, not quite the perfect combo, but hey. Now just mic, okay, that's a little bit better. 
Royal Jelly could really be anywhere, though. It's hard to kind of pick out where it's hiding. I want to wait off the corrosion, but I'm not getting a huge amount of chances here. Wait, actually, where is this Royal Jelly? Hold on, I should be behind my guys. I don't think I got well mutated there, but I, I better double check. Huh? I mean, there's only this one corner left, right? Right? It probably moved when it hurt the mark, and it's probably been following me this whole time. There we go. There it is. So I want to get it with... I mean, I'll start with a soul bind, which is going to unfortunately do some pain on me. Then I think I get it with... Uh, get a little bit closer, and then I do the fathomless shackles on it. Is that a raw jelly? No way, it's a raw jelly. 290 health? Okay, it's got a couple of attacks on it. I don't know if it spews out jellies or not. I guess I'll find out. Probably not though, right? Alright, well, there's a little jam on the ground still somehow. And my fourth rune. I'll see what else we've got hit on the ground here. There's a rapier of speed. Ooh, that might be good. I'll check it out soon. Um, I remember the rapiers of speed being pretty good, so I could draw, oh, keep that faith around this for title. Drop the charming or something. So the rapier of speed does 25 damage, 0 0.3 attack delay. So 0 0.5 attack delay, 19 damage plus freezing. Um, whereas this electric doesn't really matter. I gotta give it a try. I mean, I think the quick blade is probably still competitive. All right. Yeah, some good old rig of ice. I think I've probably done in this place, though. Let's get out of here. And the area does still open even when I sold by the royal jelly, which is kind of nice. Oh, you looked away for a second. And you already bound the bastard. Yep. Yep, it's my royal jelly now. All right, well, let's take the royal jelly into Zart. I don't think Jeeva will be so happy with me. <laughs> oh, you know, off a fire? Multiple orbs of fire? Okay, I might drink one of these potions of resistance. Um, got 15 haste. They should totally Zort. do one of those. Uh, oh, good. Armor class. Okay. Minus two enters. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's not bad, those mutations don't really, um, they're definitely not negative, that's, uh, that's true at least. Alright, I can probably just dump magic mapping on, like, all these levels, right, because I've got so many of those. I don't think my bro jelly spits out things, so I guess that answers that question of whether it spits things out or not. And it does still open up the area, like, to the rune and stuff, so I know at least I can, can buy the... Royal Jelly now. I wonder what the best unique is to have bound, though. It's uh, definitely an interesting thing. There we go. Max down the invocations. So I'm definitely going to get a title with that one. Let's just get... I'll get a bit more short blades. I'll get, like, 20 short blades. I'll get fighting up to, like, 25. Um, shields also to, like, 25. Dodging to like 10, because I haven't really found the best armor. Unfortunately. And even if I find like gold dragon armor now, it probably wouldn't make much difference. Or probably Tiamat or maybe the Hell Serpent. Oh, I guess you can go like bind um, Hell guys, right? What's the, what's the limits on the bind soul? Uh, living, holy, or demonic. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you totally could. You could get, could you get like a uh, Cerebob or something on your team and just have them like fire storming everyone? That sounds kind of fun. This is not quite right. I'm getting zapped. I might just. Oh no, my Royal Jelly's almost dead. I 
Can I hold some torchlight? I don't think so. I can bite up my guys, but it doesn't do much else. Yeah, Moral Jelly wasn't that tough. Huh. Oh, that didn't work. Right, because the death cop is undead. I just have a teleport, but it's going to take forever to go off. Um, Where's my digging? I did get digging, right? I got a little bit of digging. All right. That's kind of a shame because I've lost my army now. Um... I just do so just teleporting all over the place just to make fun of me, I guess. Alright, well, I guess I hopefully I find someone else I can uh, soul by, but I guess I determined that the Royal Jelly isn't the best soul by ever. And it was okay. Like, I had a bit of health, but it kind of died extremely quickly. I guess when you think about the soul, like the Royal Jelly, it's not actually that tough. It's mainly the creatures that spits out that are tough. Also, I'm not winning this fight, am I? I can't dump down. Why should I drop down that one? A dead to Vade. I'm also not uh, convinced that I should just go back to my quick blade or something. I mean, this is attacking nice and quick, but yeah, I'm not convinced that I should just go back to that one. I'm in a long, low bound, long, low bond bound. Three hurricanes. Would you take damage from them though? Because it's only the summoner that's not affected, right? That would be um, mildly terrifying. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced that that would be a good, good guy to soul bind, but maybe it would work. Uh, I'll probably would get you, but it'd be hilarious. It, it certainly would be hilarious. Just getting polar vortexing all over the place. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything great about these death cases, these death cops. I just gotta kind of work my way through their health, I guess. I haven't seen anything so far that I want to soul bind. I don't think it works on like uh, norms of fire, right? Because they, they have to be living, demonic, or something. Holy. Right, yes, it doesn't work with the orbs of fire. Well, how good a cloud would be? Probably not that great. 150 health. Oh, let me go upstairs. That's kind of incredible. Also, I probably didn't really need to pull those off. I probably just needed to summon in some things. I go to Soul by the Cloud just because it gives me something in my army. But it probably won't live very long. I'll probably replace it fairly soon. It's got, um, I've got 200 health. It's got a little bit of AC and a major, and I guess it might survive a bit. Oh, the pies, though? Yeah, oh, wait, tear match. Yeah, the pies are probably pretty good, right? Oh, um. I need to be at back of the staircase. So I gotta kill this guy, I think. And they'd be back in a staircase. So I've gotta. I do have my torch lit, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. No, I might just try fighting these guys for just a little while. Oh no, it's too oh it's too late to buy I arr, it's too late for the bind soul. Oh, whoops, I should have... Ah, oh, that's a shame. I stuffed up the Binding Soul, but oh well. Man, that would have been good to get Tear Match going, but I think I could take her cloak at least. <laughs> um, I should have done that earlier. Oh, no, don't keep disrobing, actually. I want to deal with these guys first. That's probably the sensible thing to do. Oh, the Cloud even, like, bounces around all over the place, so it can kind of get behind the enemy ranks and stuff. Run, run, escape out of the entrance, the home. Try again, yeah, didn't get tear match. Such a shame. Yeah, well. Maybe I'll get a pardon or something. Or, uh, who knows. I wonder if the pardon keeps their regen. That would be kind of crazy if he did. 
Uh, I can definitely see that guy getting the minus five resist for a pie landing on it. I don't think that pie heads, but I can definitely see a few pies getting thrown around, which is definitely nice. Uh, oh, come on, I've almost killed that guy. And it was getting me kind of corroded up as well, which is not helping. Are the pipe, uh, the pie plays are coming through. Yeah, they they are sometimes. Oh, oh, I might buy next to her, not next to her. Uh, VB the Exile. They've got a uh, creeping frost eruption, Pyrex classic surge. I go to give them a try. Like they do so much damage. Like they have 69 cold damage and 46 fire damage plus uh, 34 physical damage on both heads. Um, they've even got lots of resists. So yeah, I think the right play here is a bind. Oh, they're not living. No, okay, then never mind. Well, it would have been nice, but no, of course not. Oh, it might be one of this gold dragon armor. There's no gold dragon armor. <laughs> Man, I'm really stuffing up my bind soul, but at least that time I tried. Ow, that hurts. I just... It's alright. Gotta move back, because that's a death rake. Yeah, I think this is fine. I've, I've got 140 health. I'm not going to be taken out by a Quicksilver Bolt. Uh, let me just check my resist. I basically got one of everything. That's not too bad. I think two core resist, but everything else is one. All right, well, next level's not. Maybe this will have some uniques that I can go grab. And hopefully it'll be a living one this time around. Oh, this dude's got distortion. Um, this little scale's not going to do much. Hmm. I guess I just attack it. If I guess that to the abyss, it's not a big deal. I'm tough enough to survive the abyss at this point. I don't know how the finding souls works. Oh, magic map? Oh, good idea. Yep, I'll just kill this guy. Magic map is a great idea. I totally forgot to do all my magic mapping. Because I got a little bit of digging, so I can uh, at least uh, will help me know where I can dig and where I can't dig properly. Uh, do I... Hmm. I just think of like, whether I can retreat back somewhere, but that doesn't really work, because that just swaps me for the one of the awkward choke point to one of my creatures being the one of the awkward choke point. Oh, there's a, finally a thing I need to identify, but I don't think I've got the identifiers on me right now. Um, It's probably Ambrosia, so I'll just drop the... I mean, I guess I'll drop the Gyron Gimbal, actually. As good as it is, it's just not gonna work without a shield. Hey, another gold dragon. Hey, it's got no no armor. All right. <laughs> I kind of presuming I won't get gold dragon armor this game, but if I do, it's probably still worth wearing, right? Even if I don't get it that enchanted. But that's definitely another reason to want to see Pajits this run. Oh, I, I meant to step forwards there, but I obviously missed my chance to step forwards. Did my cloud die? I'm not seeing it around. No, it just blinked around as it does. Okay, I'll just let these guys move forwards, but they're going to go berserk, which is a bit of a problem. I can probably get it with... I don't, I'm not actually that skilled with my evocations. So I should probably just get it with a javelin, I guess. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay. Ooh, 130 health. That's... 
it's not doing that well. Um, now nah, I got plenty of parties. I'm doing shackles. Okay, this guy is berserk, but it should be fine to see us in my shackles. There we go, that worked fine. Yeah, the other thing I was thinking was like healing up or trying to heal up some way, but. Oh, I don't like that tormentor at all. What can I actually do here? Hold on, can I throw like a. Mm, a javelin? There we go, that got rid of the tormentor. I'm getting a lot of use out of these silver javelins that I seem to have picked up in some state. How they do get paralyzed? I guess the dreadlitch probably paralyzed, so it makes sense. They do uh, do that right. Why is there, like, a undead dude there, the vampire? Oh, it's the paralysis fault, isn't it? Like, with all the, yeah, all the dreadliches and vampires and stuff in it. Not that they can paralyze me, but it's still something. Wait, am I not getting gold dragon armor because my, uh, because they get raised as zombies, or is there... They don't always get raised as zombies. It's just that one did get raised as zombies. It'd be interesting if I couldn't get gold dragon armor. I mean, actually, I could go get myself some crystal plate armor. I should probably do that. In fact, I could probably even get the acquirement. I'll just finish this level first. Because I'm going to lose all my creatures as soon as I leave the level. Yep, there's another one of these. It's good old dread liches. Oh, there's probably even more in here. I don't think you've seen a gold dragon turn to a zombie. I saw one earlier turn to a zombie. Um, I might still have the zombie with me. No, I don't. Yeah, because uh, most of them haven't turned into zombies. Most of them have just uh, not dropped anything. It's hard. Fire is this poison. Nah, it's not a very good cloak. I just keep my armor class one on. But no, I definitely, definitely saw one which was like, oh, I was like, that's when I realized. I was like, oh, maybe they, maybe when they leave armor and said they drop a um. Zombie or something. Anyway, let's get the crystal plate armor. I'll see if it's worthwhile. It might not be worthwhile. Uh, why is it not telling me about it? Like, what? how much armor class it have? I guess I gotta buy it first. Wait, hold on. Can I just... If I look at it in here, like some crystal plate armor, would that tell me? AC would increase by 4, evasion would decrease by 4, right, so it's basically the same thing. He said I lose a cold resist? Don't care about the electric resist, um, I lose a little bit of dex, so that's probably fine. I think I can, yeah, I can charge up to plus 3, it's not like a massive increase in defense or anything, because I've already charged up my stuff. What am I carrying around? I've got to be carrying around something. I should still identify that potion of um, Ambrosia, shouldn't I? i got to rip out my Might potions because they're probably pretty useful. Uh, what else is there here? I probably don't need the Berserk potions. Alright, let's grab this, put it on, see how it works. Yeah, I mean, about the same defenses. Oh, I probably could have enchanted my hat, but oh well. I really am just one of every resist now, but I'm going to go with that. i go to... I was on... What was it? Uh, Zot? Four? I'll go to three. See if that's it. Yeah, I've done that one. All right, this time I'll wrap my magic mapping. I mean, if this one drops armor, it doesn't matter because I've already charged on the crystal plate armor, but no, it didn't drop armor. Oh, I can't even get to this dude. I'm gonna hide around the corner and just pull it closer. There we go. But I think it put some lava between me and it. Uh, I'd probably find just standing where I am and just fighting these guys. I don't think that's causing me any problems. 
These guys are in a perfect era for shackles, but I prefer not to use the piety for that. Oh, did I just lose my cloud? I have no idea. No, it's still there. It's just blinking around all over the place. I can make these guys less dangerous by dropping a vial of floods on them. Uh, I might do a healing potion. I just don't want to be with a one shot of that guy's crystal spear or nothing. Because that would be a terrible way to lose this character when you've got so many options and then you just uh, misjudge someone's crystal spear or something. That would be such a terrible way to die. I've kind of died to similar ways to that before. It's always really disappointing. Oh, he's all gonna go berserk. Um, I'll throw a javelin anyway. Just no, nah, I didn't quite take it out. Oh well. This almost looks like I'm going to like the lung chambers. It doesn't quite, but it's almost like a reduced size area. Oh, hey, the golden dragon. It's uh, above some deep water, so I'm not going to find out if it had uh, dragon scales or not, I guess. Trying to think about like Zod 5. There's nothing special on that that sounds worth guard, no, not guarding, worth fighting or anything. Not that I can think of. Uh, I want to step forward after I kill this guy. There we go. So I can have my cloud in there as well. Quite a few guys here. I should actually throw some javelins through all these guys. Otherwise, they'll probably all go berserk when their Moth of Wrath decides to berserk them all up. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't look too bad, I think. Unfortunately, some of these guys have pull ups, so they're going to get extra stabs, but also the old plus, like, they're basic draconians, so their stabs aren't going to do that much. Did I? Oh, I totally forgot to raise my torch. No wonder I'm not getting my piety back. That was a bit of a mistake. Anyway, I've raised it now, but there's not much of this level left. Oh, that is a bit of a shame. Anyway, I'm done with that level. Yeah, I gotta remember to raise my torch. Um, I think that's one of the first times I've actually, like, totally forgotten to raise that. Anyway, let's go down to the last level. Start with the magic mapping. As soon as I see a creature, I should go raise my torch. Um, how are my traps? They don't look too bad. If you walk on that side, I'll probably get alarmed. If you walk on this side, it's probably okay. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of traps. Oh. No. Oh, I haven't raised my torch yet, thankfully. Because that doesn't lead anywhere. I mean, I did have a digging wand in case I had already raised my torch. Kind of wish I could solve by that profane servitor, have one of those ones on my side. But I don't think I can solve by the temporary summon guys. Uh, I gotta... Do I lignify? Hmm. I guess so. I'll lose some of my defenses, but... I think this is alright. All these guys, uh, mm, actually, yeah, I think I linked a fight with this one as well. And then I could probably just throw some javelins at it or whatever because something, something they can actually hit it. I 
Actually, how am I resist right now? Everything I pop in cold resist, that's probably fine. I know that gold dragon can do cold damage. Hey, there we go, those are zombie gold dragons. I definitely do make the zombie gold dragons occasionally. Uh, I guess if all my creatures are going in here, I should probably follow after them. Alright, well, I determined that this side was the side I wanted to get with. And hopefully I can get a bunch of these zombie... Yeah, these guys. Zombie orb guardians. Ow. That kind of hurt. I'm going to summon in my army. Level 26, I might not reach max level as a character, but that's fine. You don't have to reach max level to win the game, thankfully. Otherwise, I had a number of characters that wouldn't be able to win, actually. No, I'll stand back. Uh, I'll try and get my health back, and then I'll run up to the statue. All right, well, I definitely want the haste, because I got so many of those. So I want to put on a fire to this well, probably, when there's all the fire here. Hasn't given me any mutations just yet. Oh, there's another robber fire. Um, if I can get both of those just a little bit closer, actually, one of them's dead already. I was just gonna say I could do some shackles. Oh, I gotta um, I gotta do a bit of fog because I can see, I can see a cursed heart. Can't be a torment. I'll try to avoid the torment by. Okay, I'll do a shackle. Uh, yeah, shackles, I guess. That cat Casto is not getting paid by the shackles, is it? Um, I mirror up this dude. Maybe that will take out the Casto. Mm, I'm frail right now. What else am I teleporting next to things? I need to reset that as soon as possible. Okay, well, am I doing a healing? Potion did not help, and I got confused. Okay, I might give her that confusion. I think I might have to lignify up. Um, at least I won't get teleported away while I'm lignified, because uh, the form is immune to that. Also, an electric golem. Um, sure. Oh, but it's bound in place. That's actually not that useful right now. Because there's not much I can do against it. I mean, I can zap with some... Electricity? May not really do that either. Okay. I might just drink a cancellation. Because I think I can buy some more of those if I need to. Uh, and before I get teleported next to anyone, but like before I even try to heal up, I gotta do the mutation potion so I don't get pulled to the center of these guys. Still teleported next to things, which is what I really need to get rid of. Uh, low magic capacity, cold resist, cloudy of mind, 4 AC, that's, that's excellent. I'll take those ones. Alright, well, I'm kind of out of dead now after, like, all those orbs of fire and stuff blew them up, but, oh well. I'm pretty close to my rune, and I've got the right sort of title. Oh, uh, goodbye undead. <laughs> I did lose all my undead, but they're almost dead, because the, the twister has already slaughtered them. Alright, I've got a faith tablet on me, I think, if I need to change my party that way instead of doing, uh, god abilities. I don't actually know how many pips of party I need by the end. Oh. Thinking seems confused. So I think I lost my clarity of mind. Let me just haste up. Drink my last resistance potion. Uh, something happened to me. Spells. That doesn't matter. Nothing happened to my mutations. Oh, my. Probably fine.
Yeah, I'll just pull things back to this little choke point and deal with them, I think. That's another... Okay, another roll of fire here. I might just dump, a, dump down some shackles, I think, because I'm getting enough stuff in my shackles. Of course I get teleported out of my shackles. I get teleported back into my shackles as well. Um... What just happened to me? I don't know. Uh, sometimes lose the ability to read scrolls. That's not a good one. I should probably drink another haste, though. Um, had a lot of guys. Oh, minus scrolls. Minus scrolls not the best, especially when I'm getting dumped here. Can I do some more? Uh, I can't do some more shackles. I've run out of piety for that. This is not the best. Um, I don't like that minus scrolls. That's... Mm, Sad. I don't think you can even cancel the minor scrolls. I think I've tried that before. It didn't really work. Might drink the bite. I probably should have been using the bite a bit more um, before as well. Gotta gotta get a quick silver. No, it's a, it's a silver devil on this guy, because I don't want to get hit by that death rake. Alright, short plays is 20, that's fine, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I can just get fighting or whatever. Um, still got the minor scrolls, which is not ideal. Hey, there we go, the scrolls are back, I think I might dump some fear on these guys. Is that a capital P or a lowercase p? I think it's capital P. Good, that's not looking too bad, now watch. I think I retreat back to... I might try the teleport trap. There we go. That's better. And now I can get my health and stuff back. And I can fight these guys in a bit more of a sensible manner. Was I needed to reset these? Yes, I was. Because I had the minor scrolls, which is a pretty bad mutation. And I really don't want to lose the ability to do that. I'll probably lose a bit of armor class drinking these, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I lost some armor class. I've still got the minor scrolls. Do I? Oh, I do still have the minor scrolls. Let's try this again then. Single the minor scrolls, all right. Okay, so I got dex mutation, resistant. Oh, I still got the minor scrolls. Never mind. Ah, so with the minor scrolls, come on, game. You know you want to get rid of that one. There we go. I got strands mutation or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But at least I got rid of the minor scrolls. Marked again. I guess I'll cancel it. Oh. Think about that teleport trap, but I think I can just keep walking back here. Because I'm not slowed or anything. There's nothing stopping me from just uh, running around this corner. And just running completely away from all those guys. Kind of didn't plan on doing both sides, but I did kind of get marked at a bad time, so I ended up doing both sides there. So I might as well just do everything. And like, uh, once I grab the orb, I can take a teleport trap or whatever. Alright, well, I do appear to be done with this bird, so I grab the orb and take the teleport trap and get out of here. Uh, title's going to be the right type, so yeah, everything's set to just get out of here. Whoa. Stepping up to the sky, but mm, I'll lignify. Oh, wait. Oh, hold up. Oh, that was a bad idea. I still got the cold resist ring on me. But I, yeah, I lose my cold resist when I lignify. All right, let's put that on. That was probably a bad idea. I might throw in a healing potion. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have swapped the ring in there. Lignified, maybe? Uh, where's an up staircase? Swat who, okay, I'll swap back onto the fire resist resist corrosion ring, I think. Well, they do have cold resist outside of the lignified form. But anyway, I wanted to heal up just a little bit with an ambrosia, which is probably this one right here. Uh, I'll try to heal up a little bit on the next staircase. 
That's uh wait, I'm gonna down staircase again. Let's go to another up staircase. Yeah, just healing on every single up staircase is always a good idea because um if something comes along you can just like ditch. Alright, good. I've got my health back. I can start the auto traveling to where I need to be. Oh fog. Pull in the tormentor and just fight it. I have plenty of blinking, at least, in case I need to, like, blink away from pandemonium lords and stuff. Or just anything, uh... Shadow creatures really doesn't do a whole lot when you're this early in the dungeon, dungeon level 10. Yeah, because it's just going to be creatures that are appropriate for dungeon level 10. Oh, dungeon level 1? Wow, this has been an easy orb run. In fact, I'm at the exit. Let me just go check how much piety I need to lose. So... God swears you are down, down on this list. The uh, There we go. This one's the one I'm after. Um, I want the fallen one, which needs... Three pups. Alright. To get three pups, I need to lose two pups of piety. I'll do the shackles because I know that loses me a lot. Then I oh the bite souls not gonna work. Uh, I can't hold the torchlight. Oh, four pups. Um, I don't want to lose too much. Hold on, can I bind soul on? I'm gonna wait for something to come along. That dude will do. Yeah, there we go, I'm fallen Minotaur, which is exactly what I'm after. Now let's get out of here. As much as I like to corrupt that angel by binding it, let's just leave, because I don't need to be here anymore. Actually, well, that was a fun game, getting to play the new Eurodel Null after a slight rework since I last played it. No, that was great. Oh, I never, never enchanted my hat. Oh, congrats, yep. Definitely, no, that was, that was a lot of fun.